This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, break out your big green hats and figure out just where you left that pot of gold, because we're talking Leprechaun 2. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Eric Siska. Chris O'Cabin. Ah, James A. Janese. Chelsea Rebecklican Army. <laughs> <laughs> and we hate movies. Absolutely. <laughs> We all go a little mad sometimes. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? Sometimes. That is what I... Zombies have entered the building. They're at the door. They're coming in. It is time to keep your appointment with the Wicker Man. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Seen one too many movies. Now, Sid, don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. Put the fucking in the bag. What an excellent day for an Hello, everyone. Welcome to We Hate Movies. Thank you for tuning in. As always, that's right. You heard him up front. We have some special friends back to the program to help us close out the 2022 Halloween Spooktacular. Please welcome back to the program, James and Chelsea from the Dead Meat Shows. Yeah. Hello. Hi, guys. It is a thrill to be back talking about one of my favorite franchises <laughs> in the world, God Leprechaun. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. What better way to celebrate the second in this long-running franchise than bringing back our two Leprechaunologists? <laughs> Hell yeah. I I gave you guys an option but when I emailed you. I was like, we can do Leprechaun 2 or we could do anything else. And you were both in <laughs> unison. Leprechaun 2. Yeah. Leprechaun yes, 2. They were saying 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Well, now we're past the boring original one and yes. we're into the meat of the series. So that's why I'm excited. Right, because... The way I'm understanding this, James, is that now that first movie is completely forgotten. Yeah. And two on, is it is it a single storyline or are we no. forgetting each time? No, <laughs> not at all. Uh, in fact, like I said last time, there is a running theory that each movie has a different leprechaun uh, figure. Oh, that's right. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. Of course. I but now, that now the, the series knows what it is tone wise, whereas that first one is just them fucking around on a farmhouse. Right. Sure. I mean, the, the thing with you, you were correct. The, this franchise is now in the meat, but I would suggest much like your uh, podcast, James and Chelsea, it's dead rotting meat. Is yes. what we're, it's, it's no longer, we're not in the fresh meat of the series. We're in the very immediately we're in the stinky, gross shit. Yeah. It stinks. Uh, and it's boring as God. Oh my God. I hated this fucking movie. I had a little bit okay. of fun. It's okay. It's okay to like a movie. I know sure. James and Chelsea adore this feature. Oh, Eric really? already attacked. Me on Twitter, not yeah. three <laughs> hours. What ago. did he say? Like, get, he told you to get help. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> he Michael well, Jordan me. I'm, I'm backpedaling now because now I see you and I got to be nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Well, here's the thing: is uh, traditionally this was one of my most hated installments of the Leprechaun franchise, and it wasn't until this viewing that I finally succumbed and appreciated everything in it. Yeah, I do think Dead Meat's Twitter followers are a little concerned. They are. <laughs> I, so what what like turned the tide this time? Because it's uh, it's probably been the, the same substances. movie every time. <laughs> oh, substances. Yeah, okay, that'll do it. Come around. I had a little bit of fun with this movie last night. So I think did it's, I. Because I think the the first one, to your point, James, is like trying to be a real horror movie, and you can't because it's like you're just throwing Warwick Davis around like literally a throw <laughs> pillow, so it's not that scary. <laughs> this we're like getting into cheesy ginger dead man horror joke kind of territory. Sure. He's not getting tossed around as much in this movie. That was a big problem for yeah. me. I mean, this we, we have a problem with uh, uh, leads being at all interesting. Like, <laughs> sure. I, I feel yeah. Jennifer Aniston's absence so hard is <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, oh, my yeah. God. This guy that plays Cody, uh, Charlie uh. Heath. 
Charisma black hole, ladies Not and gentlemen. Good. Yeah. Not but, good. But a shining star next to his co-star, Shovano, whatever. This is one of the oh worst performances. Gosh. I'm so <laughs> obsessed with her performances. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Yeah. What do you mean? What? What's you mean happening? it's really over? <laughs> <laughs> she, for me, I mean, listen, it is a righteously bad performance, but she, to me, has the line of the film where at the end, she just uh, yells at Cody, he's gonna blow. Yeah. <laughs> How did she know that? that? I couldn't stop thinking about that. How does she know that he's gonna explode? Because nothing indicates otherwise. I just figure like, okay, you stab him and he's gonna just, you know, die. Maybe he'll melt. But she yeah. knew. <laughs> she somehow knew. And maybe because that's, you know, she is like the bloodline. A lot of bloodlines in this yeah. spectacular, oh, by yeah. the way. We, of course, did Hellraiser bloodline Classic. Uh, to kick things off. And now with this closing out the spectacular, because this movie starts out with like Ireland a thousand years ago. A thousand <laughs> years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a big jump. <laughs> How a thousand bad? years ago, we're hanging up fitted sheets or whatever on this <laughs> clothesline. Well, that was before the English like fucked over Ireland. It yes. was a great place. They had fitted sheets and yep. all this stuff that was taken away by the British. And mm -hmm. like, you know, this is something that happens in every man's life before you get married. You have to get rid of your male slave. You know what I mean? Yep. Which is kind of <laughs> yep. a drag. I, yeah. I, I, it was difficult for me to do that. You know what I mean? Like you, <laughs> you finally get the lady, you know, just right on I, your, the eve of your wedding. Like you're free now, sweetheart. I, it's kind of tough. You, you know what? To quote a, a, a great uh, philosopher, Blink-182, I guess this is growing up. You have to let go of your uh, man guy that you got there. Mark Hoppus had it right, dude. <laughs> uh, this dude, by the way, this guy getting choked out looks like uh, Booger from Revenge of the Nerds a little oh, bit. Oh, Curtis Armstrong? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do, this, guy's, this guy's putting in a solid performance. He's yeah, trying. Yeah. He's treating sure. us seriously. He has his facial hair. Thank you. Looks like one of those, you know, the guy where it's like the magnet facial hair. That you <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yes. That's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> we're, we're very close to actually the actual Halloween now. If you are a parent putting your little kid out as a tramp, you know what I mean? With the little right. box, yeah. with the little yes. bindle. It yep. looks exactly like this <laughs> yeah. grown man does in this performance. Either grow it or don't, dude. <laughs> it kind of went by the wayside, right? You don't really dress kids up as the homeless anymore. No, <laughs> no not so no, much. That's, that's no. gone out of fashion, uh, sadly, I would say, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I that's why like, I feel it. like if you're going to try to do that, right, it has to be like a classical cartoonish hobo. Like right. you really have to go over the top to be like, look, I'm not making fun of like an unhoused person. This <laughs> right. is like the railroad riding, yep. bindle mm. defending. I, that's what I did one Beating. year. I think third grade. I had the hat with the flower in it. And Got the it nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would be good if you did that with um, a, a, a dad has a Dick Tracy get up and then their kid is the kid. <laughs> Oh, oh the sure, kid. And, right, then, sure. and then have an uncle be the abusive railway guy that he has to run from. Too, you <laughs> the know? thing Just is, mix it up a bit for the abusive railroad uncle, which I <laughs> definitely am auditioning for later. Yeah, of you got to be eating chicken the whole night. Yes. Like literally yeah. every time Slurping you open it. your mouth, you need to be eating wet chicken and talking oh. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Love wet, wet chicken. chicken. Dude. <laughs> so our uh, our our friend here is um, he's stoked because he's celebrating his one thousandth birthday, which oh, happy indeed. Birthday. Leprechaun. Yeah, happy Aww. birthday, Leprechaun. It means he's getting married, I guess. You're finally getting married. It only took a millennia, but you're finally settling down. Yeah, waiting a thousand years a to thousand get married. That is going to be a green eruption that night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you think he's just holding it all in? He's not you know, going back in his tree <laughs> fort? I don't know. Yeah, like, has he had sex before? He's at least jerked off a ton, oh, yeah. I Oh, imagine. yeah. He yeah. Does. That, that tree they come out of, it looks... It's very bad. Mm, it's kind yeah. of a trussy. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I, also, have to wait. I have to point out his little outfit in this scene. It's like a new... It's like unlockable DLC leprechaun skin. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's cool. A little bonus hope that we get. I, I like it. If you, or it's yeah, like if, in a fighting game and it's like someone yeah. selected the leprechaun. Oh, Steve, were you going to do that? I was going to do exactly, exactly that. Yeah. Wait, 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 <laughs> and it's like, oh, now I also want to select the leprechaun. And he's got just a slightly different costume. Yeah. Yeah. I also like that the uh, the font of the opening credits, which are interspersed kind of randomly throughout these scenes, uh, Chelsea nailed it when she said that it made her want fish and chips. It makes mm -hmm. you want yeah, fish it does. chips. Yep. It seems like it would be on a, a, Bad Irish pub in Vegas. 
Yep. Yeah. It's a yeah, total you, menu font. You would definitely see this. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think the new Leprechaun Times does a lot of pieces about how leprechauns have to wait? Are, are these, these new millennial leprechauns are waiting a thousand years to get married kind of <laughs> yeah, thing? Right? Yeah. And yeah. they're it's never going to own homes. They just own trees. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're obsessed with haggis toast or... Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> or is that Scottish? That's more Scottish. Yeah, that's Scottish. So my potato that. toast. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The driest <laughs> snack. <laughs> that is that's a lot of starch, dude. I don't, I don't yes, know. I know. It's hey, really nasty. It's the new millennial craze, you know. Mm. So he says, like, oh, you know, happy birthday to me. Tonight I take me a bride. And you're like, oh, this isn't gonna be consensual in any way, shape, or form, <laughs> Leprechaun. I guarantee it. Can I ask yeah. our Leprechaun experts? He's because yes. uh, at least from the last one, I've definitely seen Leprechaun in the Hood, and that might right. be it. Uh, but like this one seems he's a bit more rhymy than usual. He's doing a lot of rhyming in this one. Or is it or is this on par with the rhyming? Because it's just try as you may, try as you might. He's got a couple of them strewn throughout the film. I'd say this is about his level of rhyming for the rest got it. of the okay. series. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it, well, is this is just an Irish trait, right? Or is this specific to leprechauns? Don't they have kind of a melodic voice? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> they're supposed to be like, yeah, they're supposed to have a certain rhyming, like uh, speech, I guess, but I mean the what, to what me. I know that they're supposed they to have what <laughs> like a rhyming speech, like a way of like talking in rhyme. I thought you just that think was people true. in Ireland are just walking around <laughs> yeah. right now. They're people like a cartoon in people. Ireland, <laughs> leprechaun specifically. Oh, God, I, I was talking about the specifically. Irish. Mm-hmm. I thought you were talking about the Irish. No, I was trying to move us away from the generalizing. <laughs> Eric keeps the pulling idea. us back. Yeah, uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, well, here's another thing. In that whole little like rhyming scheme when he's talking about getting married, he's like, oh, and by the way, male slave of mine, I can't wait to nestle up in her bosom. And I was like, man, don't talk about tits. I don't need this little thing. <laughs> no. Talking about anything he's interested in with, with the ladies. It's going to get Leprechaun. Gross. He's a nasty little pervert. He's so yep. nasty. Yep. He's he's a fucking and that never abates. He, he is just yeah. he's slobbering and all he's over tr- these He's ladies. trying to make these women wet, right? By making them sneeze. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The wetness yeah, comes out of their mouth. Uh, their, you know, their face. Uh, uh, face uh, uh, wetness. Uh, always uh, erotic sneezing. I know mm-hmm. it's it's a big thing for it a lot of people. It must be a fetish, right? Oh, it, it has to be. One. Oh, it has to be. It'd be. No, it, here they are again, getting on about us sneeze fetishists on the show. I'm, I'm, I can't my, believe my, it. My apology to the Achu community. Um, I, I love. I know you all are just, you know, enjoying each other. That's fine. Oh my um, God, she didn't use a tissue. <laughs> See, look, they're everywhere. Uh, I I gotta say, if you're a servant of a leprechaun like this, and he's like, look. I, you know, things are going to be good between us if you just agree to this one thing. I would know after thousands. I mean, I don't know how long he's been his servant, but like, I would have a sense like he's going to fuck me. What do I have? What do I have? Oh, I have a daughter. He's going to try to fuck my daughter. Okay, so I would just be like, you know what? I'm just going to kill myself, take myself out of the equation. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Just like exit, you know, at stage right, get out of here because whatever it's going to be, it's going to be bad. I know that. But I don't think he can die. Oh, you can't. That's right. Because at the oh, end, he's a skeleton. Yeah, he's nice. a skeleton. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you know man, what? that it's sucks. Of, best part of the movie, yeah. by the way, that skeleton it's jumping. It's really out. good. Yeah. It's it's not bad. I like it. Skeleton. You're just a dude. You've been traveling around with this fucking leprechaun for a thousand years. You're literally just an animated skeleton. He keeps tied to a wall or whatever. God, what an existence. <laughs> um, it sucks. The thing is, he has to. It's he, she has to sneeze three times in a row without somebody saying "God bless." you which i just feel like now I, i'm an aggressive god bless you but now i'm gonna even be more so just to keep yep. that leprechaun i'm gonna do it less i am i'm a kazun and oh. apparently that doesn't count because no, cody not. says it at one point and it it, it just oh, breathes sure. right past it yeah yeah but, i don't listen to those german sound things <laughs> I mean, whenever I hear, now that I know about the sneezing sex fetish community, I'm going to say uh, Gesundheit and bless you in a much more like a Barry White tone. Try to get, oh, like, yeah. get oh, a little bit more allure seductive <laughs> with it, I think. You know, that's that's probably the best way to go. You know, that's what you do when you're done with sex, right? You crawl off of him or her and you go, <laughs> God bless you. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> I'm no, never I'm, gonna I'm, give you up and never gonna go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just more filled with gratitude, weeping about it. You know, just like God <laughs> oh, bless yeah, yeah. you, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm jerking off in the corner, saying God bless you. <laughs> 
Uh, right before you sneeze. So, Chris Cabin, though, you think this is a bit of a nefarious thing on this leprechaun's part? I thought it was a happy accident. It's it like was. a small town. Like, because oh, he's oh, like, no oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no you way. think so? He's like, yeah. hey, buddy, oh, yeah, yeah. He's I got to show you shit. this really hot girl. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, tell me more about her, leprechaun. Oh, well, this, that, and the other thing. Like, he's been going off on it for like months, and now the big reveal, and it's the daughter. I, I just oh, no, dude. Episode. His face, this little shit has been scheming for yeah. ages. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, he just only, wants to fuck with this guy. I, I I can see him like holding back a laugh the whole time. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love this, guy, this girl, this girl that you this, don't know. This girl. He probably and, watched grow up. Yeah. yeah. Just, oh yeah. Definitely. Yeah. There's just a bunch of other leprechauns behind him, like, yeah, no, no, man, no. Watch what he does. Watch, watch. <laughs> He's so shocked. Uh, uh, so he, you know, we're watching the sneezing happening, and William decides, hey, man, <clears throat> you know, let's just let's go to hell tonight. I'm gonna say God bless you and fuck this dude over, and then try to run away from him. <laughs> yeah. Well. Classic mistake here. Uh, he gets like six feet and leprechaun powers take over and he's like throwing this dude up into the air and shit. You can see the cables. Oh, yeah, we can see the wires on our copy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's great. Oh, what uh, what were you watching it off of out of curiosity? Way my too high copy. quality of a yes. That's TV. precisely My, my Blu-ray copy on our 80-inch television. <laughs> oh, uh, the best way to watch a leprechaun <laughs> film. Uh, <laughs> it just we were... wasn't supposed to be seen like this. <laughs> Uh, we were watching it the way God intended on a peacock stream. Sure. <laughs> Dude, you can see a lot of strings in this movie. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I wish I could have seen it. It was way too shitty. Um, so he gets screwed over here and then it's like, all right, well, I guess he's got to wait another thousand years or whatever. He says, to fuck his descendants. Yes. yes. We just, fuck we, one of your descendants. That That's is a so small bizarre. window too. You know, like. He tried once and it failed and now he has to wait another thousand years. Yeah, That's yeah totally. So. <laughs> well, well I guess I'll bit. just go back to paying for it. <laughs> yeah. You could do, you know what, Leprechaun or anyone listening, really, you could do whatever you want to any of my descendants a thousand years in the future. I don't yeah. know them. They <laughs> yeah. don't know me. I'll be so <laughs> dead. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I'd feel better about it if I didn't find out about like the, the, the credits go over. You're finding about all the hotties that the leprechaun missed. Oh my God. In yes. the thousand years that went by, there's a ja there's this jazz age flapper type. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a flapper Turner. for sure. It's like the most just comely maidens on the <laughs> yes. family tree. And also the Titanic. Yes. Oh, yeah. And I think they come over on the Titanic, it looks like. I think oh, Leprechaun boy. did the Titanic. <laughs> because oh, that definitely That could should be. be a movie. I, that would cost money, but yeah. Because we looked at, because we were like, well, wait, it can't be the Titanic because it took off from England, but it stopped in Ireland and mm -hmm. then it went. Yeah. So good. That be. was the one deleted scene from uh, the Jim Cameron movie. <laughs> yeah. The, the 20 well, minutes it, they stopped off in Ireland. In the scene when Jack and Rose are spinning down with the poor people, you could see the leprechaun just clapping <laughs> along playing the pipe. He also watched her get uh, drawn by him. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he definitely. was looking on. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was steaming up a different car. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. Dancing, he's dancing on the top of the glacier while it's going down, just like doing yeah. a little jig on top of if it. If you yeah. look in the background in the beginning when they're all boarding the ship, he's like crawling up one of those ropes like a little rat to go and get on that boat. <laughs> Um, one of the funniest, uh, like intertext things I've ever seen in a movie is this one that just says a thousand years later, mm -hmm. never before. I think if I've seen such a precise <laughs> and huge number of years. <laughs> also, we can't not acknowledge her scream that ends that cold open because so it is funny. manic. Her face <laughs> is the most terrifying face I've ever seen. And as she like, trash. <laughs> it's such like a, okay. And scream. Kind of yes. screamed like you yep. can tell she's yep. being because she's like, ah! <laughs> yes. like the like the breath, like the yes, get ready the for an inhale. Was. Yeah, the camera whips up to her. the The director of this movie, Rodman Flender, oh which yeah. is a fake sounding name. Yes, Incredible. Uh, real dude. This gentleman actually also gave us Idle Hands in Ooh. 1999, oh, starring wow. Devin Sawa, uh, which is a fun little Halloween time. Spooked. Have you guys ever covered that one on the show? Not yet. No, we haven't please. covered no. it. But okay. It's due. it's due. And then um, he would go on to direct many uh, episodes of TV comedies, including The Office and Ugly Betty and Suburgatory. Like, he did all right as a TV director. Not bad. Yeah, he's also, uh, he directed the uh, now totally irrelevant documentary Conan O'Brien Can't Stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the documentary. Turns out he did a like, concert tour. Yeah, never he stopped. didn't stop. Yeah, he never yeah. stopped. <laughs> 
Um, it's actually amazing this guy had a career after this film. It's yeah, <laughs> it's very bad. Shocked. Dude, being a man is cool. <laughs> <laughs> There was definitely some like erotically charged thriller that he directed before this that Ooh. I was looking on his IMDb, totally filled with like absolute nobodies, but it was a pretty like saucy looking poster, I have to Erotic say. Erotic nobodies, though, that ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, by the way, anybody want to watch Sister Act 2? Because there's just, it's, yes! it's, it's, it's I kept like yeah. peeking around, like I could be watching Sister Act 2 right now. That'd be a fun way. Yeah, it's on the marquee because they're in downtown LA, probably guerrilla shooting without a permit. Oh, for I would sure. love to oh, know this yep. movie's budget. There are it some is edits tiny. in this that make it feel like they were shooting this without permits because we're cutting a little too fast mm -hmm. and some, you know, especially the <laughs> Oh, absolutely. End. Well, yeah. then there's also the one part where it cuts where the one guy in the background just yelling, hey, you won't get the fuck. And then they cut. <laughs> getting yelled at by his security guard. I mean, yeah, yeah. especially that the whole scene, like basically right here where like the kid is trying to get Clint Howard yep. and Kimmy Robertson and these this other couple like into this fucking hearse on the street. Guaranteed that was like they're getting yelled at by somebody. Then Clint Howard had to turn around like. Oh, hey, man, I was on, like, Star Trek that one time. And they're like, oh, yeah, fucking Clint Howard. Yeah, you can make your movie. <laughs> I'll go to no, Ron if you don't leave us the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Captain, it's okay. Ron Howard's brother said it had to happen this way. Okay? <laughs> that guy's like the king of Hollywood. This guy's the prince. It's fine. Do, do you know what kind of fundraising he does for us? <laughs> do you have any idea? The man shows up, okay? It was for Leprechaun 2. Captain, do you know how big Leprechaun 1 was? <laughs> it's going to be an amazing movie. But yeah, this kid, Corey, is giving dark side Cody. tours. Yes, Jesus. Cody. Cody, yes, excuse me. It's even dumber. Um, <laughs> Floppy-haired grifter. Is there anything is worse? Part, man. Mm -hmm. This kid, this fucking ABC TGIF mm -hmm. reject, this fucking... Oh my God, the character design. I mean, it's just like this kid's clothes. <laughs> the That's a character yeah, design. Yeah. Yeah. That was a little so Drew Cody. He was, yeah, he was <laughs> scratching it out. Yeah, uh, the costume design That's in it. this movie really, really uh, pitch perfect here. It's just like, no, it's it, this kid's airwalk fucking sneakers and baggy jeans. Never before was I like, you know, the kid from the first Hocus Pocus, I guess, really did have something because yeah. it's <laughs> the same. Oh, yeah. It's the, cut from the same cloth. Yeah, that, but this sure. kid was that guy standing for exactly. sure. Exactly. He's acted that, circles around my man Cody here. That kid was in matinee, sir. So, you <laughs> yeah, know that's what? true. He, he had some real <laughs> sauce there. And I will say that going forward, if we commit to this bit of us doing the Leprechaun series every year, uh, yeah. I, I unfortunately have to let you know that the leads never get better. Oh, the, no. the two leads are always the worst part of each movie. <laughs> but yeah. the characters around them do a good job. Like this one has all these character actors, like you said, uh, Clint Howard and uh, Kimmy Robertson in addition to Tony Cox and Michael McDonald later, yep. which yeah, is great. Sure. Yep. And then, uh, what's his name? Sandy Barron? Is that yes. his name? Oh, as Morty. Puts it. He carries this fucking movie as Morty. Clompus. Jack I Clompus. Had, man, like, if you told me, hey, Andrew, you're going to watch this Leprechaun 2, and the guy who played Jack Clompus is in like 80% of it, I would not have believed you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is Jack Clompus? I'm not uh, really He's on Seinfeld. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know okay. Seinfeld that well. Oh, yeah. Uh, Incredible. Yeah, it's, it's worth it's worth a watch. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's he's great in both. I great. I don't know, but he's well. He's, I mean, he's what, something here. He's, he's giving us something so hard. Yeah. In this. His performance here yeah. is very accurate to an alcoholic. Like it's, I watch this and I don't feel good. It's I'm bad. Like, I don't like it. I'm like <laughs> I see family members in yeah. this character yeah. and yeah. it makes oh, me yeah. uncomfortable. It's, well, that's. I mean, I guess to say this about Sandy Barron's performance in this movie, it's. Nothing like Jack Clompus. So in that yeah. regard, yeah, he's very different. Yeah, very different. You know, he, surprising so character actor here. So Cody is just trying to busk these people into. He does trick a uh, Clint Howard and his wife and, and the other couple into the hearse, <laughs> and then he goes to this uh, Brennan's Irish pub and is trying to get uh, his his, un his legal guardian Uncle Morty uh, into. Uh, to drive the hearse and like immediately I'm like that can't happen like I was yeah, just like, right. like this is a really short scene that can't happen like, look at this guy it's Morty's business that he's helping out with seemingly and yeah he's shit faced and do, then we t we leave the, these couples in that hearse yes. for seemingly they an sit hour there and a half for so long multiple they times so much they patience. make pit stops and just leave everyone in this car but once we finally <laughs> oh. 
get to the people back in the car, it's night now. Yes, it yep. was day when they got in, and now it's night. They just sat yeah. in the car for. I don't hours. care how cheap the tickets were. Your time is worth no, more. No, you know yes. what it is. Yep. It's because they're in LA. I bet they got stuck in downtown LA, and there's not Uber or anything back then. It's like fuck. You can't just walk or use public transit in LA. <laughs> they just needed a ride. Well, yeah, they, yeah. They, I mean. When the tour goes tits up, though, now you're just like basically kidnapped with this kid. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, because yeah, you unless you know like the number for a cab company, they go to this. What is it? It's like a bowling alley or something, or the go kart go kart place. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it's like, oh, we're having another break, and you're just like. Are, now you're in the fucking middle of nowhere with these kids. Seventy percent of this movie takes place at a go kart track, which is fantastic. Yes. And honestly, uh, not enough go karts for that to be the case. Yes. No, I want more of that. I, yes. I want to see more action on the track. I mean, we do get it towards the end when uh, we get the super leprechaun mobile, mm. which is uh, great, which is fantastic. I so I don't even think he's like rolling down the window for these freaks in this in this hearse. <laughs> oh, I think freaks. he's leaving it. But like, what? Like, how good could this tour possibly be worth sitting in a car, hot car in L.A. for two hours? A hot hearse. A hot yeah. hearse waiting for an alcoholic to drive you to your death. <laughs> well, like, don't. I can't I, I don't understand why you wouldn't just run for it. Chris, don't worry. It comes to nothing. And none of these people die. Nothing happens to them. They don't matter in the movie. They don't. They don't. It's sadly. Well, yeah, oh, we do really get are. that moment of the woman throwing a bucket of water on the hearse and I saying, my her. husband may be sick, but he's not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was kind of a funny gag. Right. Uh, supposedly, her. Bella Lugosi's old homestead or whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. Bella Lugosi. These perverts are really hard up for Jane Mansfield. It comes up like five times. It's like, yeah. you want to see where her head popped off? And like, not She's, really. <laughs> and that's his fucking Cody, Maybe. dude. This is his, like, selling point to Clint Howard, like, Oh, this tour is going to be so fucked up. You're going to hear audio of Jane Mansfield's head getting ripped off. And I'm like, what? What kind of a fucking selling point is that? Unless you want like an outright serial killer to attend your tour. Yeah. Hey, hey, anyone got Clint that? Howard. Anyone got that clip? Got that audio? <laughs> Shoot it on over. <laughs> no, because I don't think I... fucking John Travolta was outside recording <laughs> sounds of the night when that horrible accident happened. Blowout could have used a leprechaun. Uncle Morty, we need to change our sales pitch. We've already got David Cronenberg and J.G. Ballard. No one else is coming. No one else is going to show up. I also, this guy's name being Morty, and he's Uncle Morty. I keep thinking the kid's name is Morty because they kind of look like this weird, bizarro live-action Rick and Morty. This feels yeah. like oh, yeah. a Morty really is very much a Rick. Yeah, it yeah. feels yeah. like a weird, like a forgotten episode or something. It's just two belches away from being Rick Sanchez yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, he's got the he does have the wet mouth and the burping and mm-hmm. I, yeah, so like he grabs him into the bathroom and he's like, "Come on, man!" He's even trying to like sober him up. I'm like that ship has sailed. It's yep, so absolutely. hard to watch. Like it's not fun. It sucks. <laughs> yes. no. It's so uncomfortable, especially when Morty he, he's like, "Oh, you sold these uh, tickets? Well, that's good, but still not good enough." And women, they're just gonna tear your heart out. I'm oh, like, yeah. I've had this conversation okay. at Thanksgiving, and this sucks. <laughs> and, and the set design here of the bathroom of clearly just fake graffiti they put oh up. Happiness gosh. is a warm gun. Uh, oh, Charlie, geez. don't surf. You get that reference, people? It's another movie. <laughs> the set design sucks, and decoration man. in this movie is like the most kind of high end student film yes. aesthetic, where it's just all the walls are very blank, but that we just kind of put a few things like yes. magazine cutouts of a car on the wall or yeah just <laughs> sporadic graffiti it's it it feels very student film it's so weird the espresso bar is yes, clearly the coffee long. bar yes. oh, yeah. that yeah. feels That's... like something i shot in mm. college <laughs> or low, low grade porno like one yes. of the two well, I mean, the, 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 being in this car with this kid, because, of course, Morty can't do it. He's too drunk uh, and he's only got hours to live, really. <laughs> so, you know, the, the floppy hair takes them out. And this would be what it would be like to hang out with like a, a, a fresh new film student for a couple hours being stuck in this car with this tape deck. Somebody's got to stop him from using this tape deck. Somebody's got to be like, yeah. stop. I, I get what you're doing. Just give me the, the, the cards. Where are the cards? Can I read them? I don't want to <laughs> fucking listen to you talk anymore, kid. I yeah, can't. he's got like a soundboard in his car yeah. that he, he's got like screams and I forget what the other buttons said. 
Yeah. Like, ooh, 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 like there's ghost fun. sounds or stuff. Ghost yeah. one, yeah. an awuga for some reason. <laughs> the point is they're supposed to meet their friends at the go-kart place. Oh, we and should say, yeah, his girlfriend Bridget is uh, yes. none Bridget. too pleased Hi, that he agrees I'm to Bridget. do Bridget. How are you doing? I, I'm, not, I'm so happy to meet you, Clint Howard. How's your brother? Oh, to yep. me, Bridget. Oh, and my, my boyfriend, Cody. You have to work on our afternoon when we are going to hang out? <laughs> Already a half an hour late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she loves go karts, dude. How? She loves. Them. Here's a question because later, a little bit later, we uh, have the most obvious body double in the history of body doubles. <laughs> yes, sure. sure. We're going to talk about it for yep. about 40 minutes. I'm not going to sure. spoil it yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. We'll wait. Yeah, yeah. We'll wait. Yeah. But how bad was that woman? Because, like, clearly the point was, like, at some point they asked, you know, Siobhan, like, hey, you're going to have to be naked for this scene. She's like, absolutely no. not, which isn't no. a prerogative. But yeah. then if you're like, okay, if you're not going to do that, and you're terrible at acting. What if that that lady wants to do everything and she can speak? Well, I think it was because the lady with the the rack on mm-hmm. camera was an even worse actor. That it should have been. to be. Which should is have to be. Which is incomprehensible. How could it be? Could it be right? <laughs> Great question. Um. Yeah, so she's totally pissed off. They're doing this tour. And it's just like, yeah, we're going by these houses. It's like a bogus, like, Star Tours thing. You know, we're going to this house. And, you know, yeah, it's Bella Lugosi's house. Great. Okay, I'm glad Clint Howard paid fucking $40 for this or, or whatever. It's like 75 because he says that he, to Morty, like, he has almost $300 from these people. So it's like, that's okay. 75 oh, bucks a right. head, dude. That's tough. What is that in Yikes. today money? Oh, my God, a million dollars. <laughs> Here, I'll, run, I'll do inflation because this is 1993. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 94, yeah. Filmed in 93, man. Jeez, I mean, like, you know, it, every every tourist gets scammed, but you got to fucking know, man. You got to know. You just got to know. Look at that kid. Just look at the bowl cut. The bowl cut is all you need to know <laughs> yeah. to say and no. He's also, he really, the way he sells them, like he's putting his arm over Clint Howard's yeah. show, shoulder. You can't be doing, you can't be touching well, people. <laughs> well, Lucy from Twin Peaks is kind of into it right away. Yeah, I don't know if she's yeah. like horny for this kid because she's like <laughs> trying to get away from Clint Dude, and she's like, I'm <laughs> in. I think you're onto something there because that whole scene is like yeah clint howard doesn't want to do it and then this kid is like fucking cucking clint howard kind yeah. of he's like, he's like all right man i'll fucking take your wife on this tour you can just sit back why no. don't you just sit oh, here no. clint howard. why don't you go to this nice ice cream, ice cream bar, bar. Yes. Yeah, the ice cream and this is a year before ice cream man came out yes. so oh, wait do you think this is the same character then <laughs> i think he may have gone to that ice cream parlor and it changed his life forever yeah. Yeah. okay i ran the inflation calculator oh excellent and if so what we we think they each paid like seventy five bucks because he that's said out. like three hundred. Yeah. Uh, that's a hundred fifty three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's right. Wow. I don't think Almost that, that that's more than going to Disneyland for an entire day <laughs> with a park hopper. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no. Well, it's worth it. This tour is well, worth yeah. it. I mean, it, he it does is. say oh, you might obviously. as well go to Disneyland if you don't like it. If you don't oh, want that's it dark, right. yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. You fucking baby. Why don't you go to <laughs> Disneyland, Clint Howard, you fucking little baby? <laughs> I don't Cody, know. I... are you going to sleep with that older woman again? Because I'm so <laughs> sick of you selling your body on this death tour. <laughs> Can we go to the Goofy Coaster when we go to Disney? <laughs> or are we stopping at Harry Houdini's place again? Oh, yeah. So we go to Harry Houdini's dude and we got this fucking sign that says to our friend Harry Houdini from the people of Kilkenny Killarney. Ireland or where it's Killarney because yes. Killarney. Yes. Leprechaun's nickname is the genius of Killarney <laughs> of oh my god Dude, James yep. Jesus Christ it's a moniker I, yep. I heard that too and I was like the genius of Killarney yeah. <laughs> I, which is surprising because he's one of the easier hit horror villains to trick yes yeah, like, especially he gives him you, milk chocolate yeah especially if you have boobs like he's pretty easy to distract or trick yeah. Um, but so it's like yeah, this. I guess it's in front of Houdini's house. Yeah, it's supposed to be Houdini's front yard. I guess. And then, oh, this is real. I didn't real. know that's this. a real place. It was oh, on, when what? I was looking at wedding venues. That was on my not short list, but it was one that I had like bookmarked because it's really beautiful. The building, but yeah. No, we're not talking about the tree there. Yeah, I was going to say, were you talking about the tree? tree. Okay. The stairs there. That could have been fun, though. Like, I actually like to get into the reception. Everyone has to crawl into that. (laughs) No, no, it's much bigger underneath. Just you have to get, get get to wedge yourself in. It's really big down there. But we get at this scene, we get a cartoon esque hobo guy jumping up. Wow. 
I thought it was Tobin Bell for a second. I was like, I holy too. shit. He yeah. looks like Tobin Bell. Yes. He really does. A little bit. Yeah, I, can see I wish it was. That's an interesting uh, face off. I think. Oh, dude. Jigsaw, oh, Jigsaw versus Leprechaun. 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 <laughs> well, the way you could do it is if, like, the spirit of Jigsaw went into that puppet, because then it's, like, same yeah. size. Yeah. Okay, and then the puppet's yeah. fighting the Leprechaun, and then, like, Chucky comes in. And it's like a <laughs> battle royale. Gosh, That's the nice. tone of that would be so weird and bad. <laughs> oh, I to would, like I, accommodate I, both of them. I'd with watch this, it immediately. Oh, yeah, for sure. Same. It yeah, seems like exactly what I I'd would pre order it. Yeah. 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 There's I'd, six of us. I think we could crowdfund the movie together. I think, I think yeah. the six oh, of yeah. us could uh-huh. get the rights to Leprechaun <laughs> V Jigsaw. I think we can get that I think going. it's $150 each, <laughs> and we yeah. can get that. We can get that together, I think. Uh, I, I like that Leprechaun is introduced with. Uh, Eric Siska's most wanted uh, superpower, the ability to make whiskey bottles come to you with the <laughs> flick of a wrist. Uh, he brings this whiskey. He brings a whiskey bottle into the tree house. Yes, he sucks mm, with, it off with fishing wire. The hobo. My question was: was he, was he going to arise because it was his twenty, his one thousandth, two thousandth birthday, or? Did the whiskey do it? Like, is that the? That's my question. Like, is it, is it like a Finnegan's Wake thing where it has to hit the ground and then he wakes up, or is it like a? <laughs> I, I I think it's more like Ernest Scared Stupid, which is okay. the tone that I found mm-hmm. this similar to the most. Uh, in that, yeah. like, it is Oof. it's it's the time. It's just it's gonna happen. It has to happen tonight, and he has his chance. I think you're right, dude. Actually, an Ernest v. Leprechaun movie. If oh, you know, obviously, how did they not do would it? Be alive. Right. Yeah. Yes. How did they not do it? I, I mean, don't understand. Ernest Scared Stupid. Better movie. Sorry. Oh, easily. Easily. <laughs> hey, Vern, he's pulling my teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all things considered, this uh, this unhoused person, it makes it out the best out of all yeah, of the people that's very yeah. Yeah. Which, into. At, this was the moment where I was like, fuck you, movie. I cannot <laughs> stand a blown opportunity for a kill. And that's exactly what happens here. He pulls out this dude's gold tooth and puts him in this little pot of gold and then lets that dude go. Absolutely not Leprechaun. So yeah. now, Does now, Leprechaun know that that guy is just going to get tangled up in the system and live his whole <laughs> life knowing that leprechauns are yes. real and being in and out of jail and that's ultimately worse than killing him? Being from Ireland, he has he has a soft spot for the poor, so he's mm. like, you know sure. what? I gotta, I gotta leave. I've gotta leave this be. Maybe, you know, this is bad enough what I've done here. But yeah. I guess this, to your theory, James, that there are different leprechauns, because the first leprechaun's pot of gold coins seemed like they were enchanted for thousands of years, really like firm coins. This guy is a little fucking meth head just getting whatever gold he can get his hands on, man. He's going to be taking copper wiring out of houses pretty soon. Absolutely, dude. Oh, oh yeah. give me another one of those brass doorknobs, man. You know, the the other supporting evidence for that theory is actually in the first movie when Leprechaun gets pulled over by that cop and the cop is like, how oh, old yeah. are you? Leprechaun says he's like 200 years old. Mm. And then this oh. one is 2,000 years Interesting. old. So explain oh. that. Wait. So Rodman. does this not maybe not this leprechaun, maybe another leprechaun fox and so I'm just saying they're fucking and they're making yes. new leprechauns. Oh uh-huh. and yeah. how does this work? Can he like if he get if he gets with this this woman who loves the go-karts? Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there Bridget. offspring leprechaun? Yeah, well, he describes oh, yeah. there's gonna be a litter of leprechauns. Yeah, they look coming. like him. Oh. That's yeah. that's what happens, Eric, is those are the ones that are looking for the copper wiring. They're not looking for <laughs> gold. They're only looking for copper. Mm. And that's they they go, they're the they're the genius of Parsippany. Uh, not of uh, but, not of an Irish place, but of a New Jerseyish place. Right. But a litter. So they, they, she births like a giant sack of them. Yes. He yeah. says that. Exactly. And I mean, like, we'll get into all this. But yeah, so he rips this dude's tooth out. And, you know, he says, I, I forgot me Novocaine, which is, you know, it's kind of now we know what we're doing here. We're having a little yeah. bit of fun. I, which which, which fun. he knows about, even though he was in a tree for a thousand years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Good point. Well, maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe he heard people like talking by Maybe the Maybe he tree, used to drug you know? people with it, like a Jeffrey Dahmer-esque type of thing. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> So Bridges I just like, realized too, with, if this movie had a higher budget, I really wish that at some point in this, because he's in LA, he would have tried to steal an Academy Award from like some ooh, cameo ooh, actor's yes, home. Yes, oh, yes. Fuck, that's yeah. a way better thing to have in this movie. Yeah, he's like up in the hills. Maybe, yep. maybe breaks into like fucking Nicholson's house. Well, and it's like a dude. Yeah. Or like, so like a celebrity cameo of like a, a lower stakes person, maybe, but 
you imagine it's like some actor playing Jack Nicholson, just doing a bad <laughs> voice, mostly shot from behind. He's in a bathrobe the whole time. <laughs> or maybe he's like, he goes to Robert Evans's house, possibly. Ooh, yes. Maybe. You and, know, I was uh, sitting around and jerking off to Ali McGraw and uh, uh, all of a sudden this uh, leprechaun came and he just, just, you know, then we had a good couple of coffee and we were talking to each other. It was a good time, the leprechaun was. Yeah, they end up in his hot tub. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, first time I met leprechaun, I said, that man is a star. That man, that, uh, he's got potential for the big screen and uh, we got wet together, yeah. I was just, <laughs> out of curiosity, have you ever thought of uh, going in the hood? Yeah, yeah. That, 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 just think about simply Leprechaun in the hood. We got a picture. How about space? Would you like space too? Because we could eventually get you there as well, sir. Oh my God, I love your face. And what's that, Godfather 3? I'll take a note of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Leprechaun, you're always welcome to come to my house. Will you come here for a second, man? If you ever bring that fucking weird guy, Clint Howard, in my house, <laughs> I will fuck you up, baby. I will fuck you up, Robert Evans style. Uh, Let's the Howard. picture. Uh, but he, uh, <laughs> so Bridget's like, could you drop me off at the go kart race? Because I want to hang out with my friend Ian. And Ian. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. He is like, this girl needs to realize it's okay to be single. Like, if your two options, our fucking grody grifter fucking yeah. tour guide. Or, and but I gave you chili dogs, Ian. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. to just be single. It's okay to just give yourself some time. Also, we don't know how old these kids are, right? We're Because we want to keep it less creepy, I guess, is the idea. Mm-hmm. I later, guess so. But later we find out that Cody has a legal guardian, so he has to be under 18. School is, ma- that's an interesting point. I mean, school is mentioned, yeah. I assumed college from the looks of everyone, oh, but, but I guess not. But you know not. what, he's driving, remember when he, they're at the, uh, uh, the police station, the learner's permit. Yes, he permit. says he's driving with a learner's yes. permit. Oh, yes. Ew. What? Ew. That puts him at like 15. Like 15. Yes, so she's <laughs> like, I mean, it would make sense because no woman over, no woman, period, is going to be like, oh, cool, go-karts. Like, you know what I mean? That's this has to be like a child. But then you got the leprechaun that's like, ooh, yeah, fifth, I'm I'm 2,000 and she's 15. Talk about an age gap. Yeah. <laughs> Problematic age gap, of course. <laughs> spring, winter of three years from now relationship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, so like, she's like, I don't even want to see you anymore, Cody. I'm going to hang out with these go-kart friends. And like, you know, that's, that's this She is really guy. laying it on heavy yes. to like make him jealous. Like I'm thinking he's going to get a fucking picture text later of, of her with him. And it's going to be bad, yeah, man. Yeah, eating chili dogs. Yes. Thank you, Chelsea, you keep pointing out the, uh, the chili dogs, which I think is great because later on he's like, what no? He's like, what? I can't come inside and be with you. Yeah, I bought you chili dogs. Yes, yeah. <laughs> like, chili what? dogs what? equals sex. Like, also, does a gnarly, it's transactional. The gnarly fucking diarrhea inducing <laughs> chili dog. E yeah. blowjob. I mean, yeah. come on, Ugh. Ian. <laughs> <laughs> It's just... I also he has one of my favorite line deliveries in this entire movie, which is saying a lot. But it's when they, it's right before they go out to ride go karts. He goes, "Let's go start our engines." Like he pronounces the the beginning and end of every word in the craziest way, and I love it. Hey, maybe every he's time. really laying it on too, like in front of this Cody. He's like, "Yeah, let's go," and he's like putting his arm around Bridget. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Get there was also Cody. A, ju- a little bit of a jump scare at the go kart place because there was dog POV shots, which yes. we were yes. led to believe were leprechaun shots, but no, With just the dog, dog shots. named Andretti yes. at yes. the race car place. Get uh-huh. it? I like oh, that little man. detail. I That's just feel like bad. if if Bridget <laughs> held out, she could be dating the the assistant manager of an Aeropostale. You know what I mean? Oh, like, which is sure. a much better. It's a little more glamorous. You get a discount scenario. Uh, they, but they were just on the market, Steve. I don't know. They, they that he might. Might be too good for her, honestly. Mm-hmm. Especially if <laughs> that's true. If if he if I mean their romance is like. So what do you do for a living? <laughs> what what, ha- uh, what is what? It? Can you get me some shirts? Are we breaking up? Can I still use your employee discount? <laughs> <laughs> How about chili dogs? (laughs) (laughs) I love the little moment in between the the go-kart racing and then like the fucking aftermath of this bad date where uh, the leprechaun's just hanging out on the street and he's using his little like magical stick to be like, 
point me to the direction of the bloodline or whatever. And then, like, this dude throws a quarter at him on the street. He's just, like, thinking he's, like, busking or whatever. And the guy, like, puts his hand out. Oh, I'm Tim whatever from CAA. Call me yeah. sometime. He's, like, giving him his card. Dude, it's this UTA. casual ripping off of the finger? Oh, man. Yeah. It's, great. it's like a stick of cheese. It just tears right off. And the, the yeah. incredible. The way that actor delivers the line quarter, too, is like, it's a quarter. <laughs> Qu- it's a quarter. quarter. What do you want from me? Yeah. <laughs> I just, and also, like, what? So, what do you? I mean, again, I mean, Robert Evans thought Leprechaun had something. I guess, like, the, he, what spark did you see in this little Leprechaun <laughs> that yeah. you want to take a meeting with him? Well, I you know, know what, dude, sometimes you just got to take a chance on on talent, dude. Ask yeah. Robert Evans. You yeah. know what? Oh. I just saw in the name of the Father at Khan. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the culture. Maybe it's going to be a big one. Maybe yeah. it's a big time for this. <laughs> also, the way that scene is shot, very indicative of the budget. The shot of the agent is just this low angle shot and it's black behind him. It could have been shot yes. in just yep. in a void. Yes. In a void. Yeah. And so so this happens and then we go directly from this to I think the the uh Ian um thinking he's making out with the fake uh, hello. Yeah. Uh, it was like the police station scene. Yeah, the police station oh, the scene happened. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. and then yeah. like Morty orders that. pizza. I forget what's going on at that point. Oh, yeah. Where they're 31 minutes. <laughs> yeah, Fuck Mr. You, Domino's delivery person. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's a thing where so he's getting in a like little, you know, disagreement with Bridget about the date, whatever, and he runs a red light. Oh yeah. They get arrested. Clompus bails him out. And yeah, so he's bringing him back to the house and he's trying to teach him some lesson while also teaching him three card money, like really trying to develop this kid's con man skills, I guess. Here's the thing. So he's like, oh, he does the 30 minutes or less because he's a cheap bastard. You know, he right. He, he t- takes his free pizza. Like, hey, you want pizza? And the kid's like, no, I don't. And he and I've never <laughs> seen this happen before. He has pizza on the table and then he just puts it to the side. <laughs> on the like, floor. Exactly. Yeah. Like, that's not what you're doing, man. Like, uh, if, oh, I'm having this... pizza. If you're not having pizza, that's how I'm going to do it. It's better when it's room temperature. I hate hot pizza. <laughs> this <laughs> apartment yeah. feels too real also. This doesn't <laughs> yes. feel like they location scouted it. This feels like someone who was working on this. This is their apartment. Like all the horror movie If it's posters. not, it is great production it's, design. Yes, because it is. that clutter is... Very real. It, it yeah. looks like a garbage hole. It acts like a garbage hole. And that's there's what like I a love random gravestone in the back yep. of like a real person who I looked up, but not anyone notorious. It's just like no, a, like the first link when I Googled the name was find a grave. It's not like a real yeah. person. Yeah. Oh, or weird. Or not like a famous person. Either. And that's right. exactly the kind of floor you want to leave a pizza on is that because mm-hmm. oh, it gets sure. the flavor. It adds the flavor down there Ooh. is what happens. Well, you you got to feed the silver fish at some point. Yes, you know of what course. I mean? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> that's true. Yes. You don't want buggies. them getting hungry, crawling up the bed. <laughs> They'll come to you. You also see like... um. There's like ha- like you see the bottom half of a Friday the Thirteenth two poster. Mm-hmm. That's Ooh. pretty sharp. It's Dude, the Chelsea's eagle eye spotted something in the background. There is a on um, one of the posters, and I was trying to figure out hopefully what movie it is because if it's not, I'm a little concerned. There is a swastika on one of the posters. Pardon oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> there is a swastika in Leprechaun two. The, right. I was trying to figure out what it could have been, and it might be the keep. I can't okay. think of what else. It would be. Well, this Morty guy's very old. Maybe he saw the big rally at uh, Madison Square Garden back (laughs) in the day. (laughs) Got himself a little souvenir. souvenir. Hey, hey, Morty, what's what's this about? (laughs) Well, kid, you know, I had a lot of extracurricular interests. (laughs) You know, I I, I floated around a bit in the 70s, okay? (laughs) All right, I've taught you three card money. Uh, I taught you how to break into a car and jumpstart it with the wires. Yeah, I got that done. Uh, oh, and so now I'm going to show you, kid, my plate collection. <laughs> really nice plate collection. Not for the want faint this of heart. To prove your bona fides, because if you or I ever get pinched and go to jail, what's the gang you're going to join? There's only one. <laughs> There's really only one for you. Look, you know what? Who got a bum rap? You know, not enough people say it. Lenny Riefenstahl. Beautiful. <laughs> a, 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 a maker of images, if you so ask me. What? 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 What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> okay. All right. So, Eddie's way. Uh, We're trying town, for the yes. will. Better movie, dare I say. <laughs> <laughs> not that I agree with it. 
Uh, no, I, I find it, I just find it a politics. technical sense. Sure. Right, right, technical right. sense. Technical yeah. sense. Yeah. Yes. The production value, if you will. Way <laughs> better production value. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Worse 100%. costumes, worse leading actor. Absolutely. You know, for oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> Give it a few Razzies to balance sure. this out. No, the problem. So, a couple problems with the production. <laughs> so, across town, Ian is dropping off Bridget. And right. Yeah, he gets a little handsy and it's like, hey, let me come inside. Your parent, I know your parents aren't home, et cetera, et cetera. Let me come inside is exactly yeah. what he says. Yeah, he does. Two and meanings. She, <laughs> and she, she like, says no. And he just immediately turns around. He's grumbling to himself outside. He's so pissed. He calls it stuck a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what about those chili dogs? What about those chili dogs? I, I took off for the night. <laughs> oh, that's right. He did take off yep. uh, for the night. And um, Bridget loves a man who shirks responsibilities. She is not happy about Cody working instead of hanging out with her. I paid for extra large Sprite and Fritos <laughs> on the side. <laughs> Dude, this is maybe my favorite. Like up until now, I'm pretty with this movie. Like, and this is like the best scene. Period. This yeah. is this the is best awesome. part. It's this is the best part. part. The oh, the. The Something, garage kill? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. great. The garage kill yeah. is incredible. It's like, so funny. Yeah. The, I didn't even know he had this power that he can both create a hologram and throw his voice at the same time. Talented little fucker, well, dude. It's, it's definitely. Unbelievable. Yeah, he this does magic, what's needed at the time. The, magic <laughs> apparition of her back now, exposed bosoms. But those bosoms are actually... The blades of a lawnmower hanging in a garage. Like an upturned lawnmower. It, yeah. A super lawnmower. This is not, this took the ooze. This is a lawnmower <laughs> with the ooze. It's but, not. <laughs> right. It's got more spikes somehow. So let's talk about body doubles for a second. So body yes, doubles, yes. the way that you you usually use body doubles, it's sexy and, you know, the, the actor or actress doesn't want to do it. And, you know, you could do like, different angles like maybe it's her face and then it's her back and then it's whatever and then you then you're showing whatever you never do you show her face and then you go down <laughs> to her ch- exposed chest which is almost the same shot and then you can absolutely see the difference in skin tone the difference yep. in body type yep. the gyration like yes, the body the double movement. is like doing a sexy movement and then the actual <laughs> actress is just like back and forth a I'm little sure bit someone will explain away it's because the leprechaun hasn't seen her nude yet he had to a Imagine another woman. God, oh, it. sure. You know what? Yep. That's canon. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it just feels very like this director, because what we we did the math, he would have been like 32 doing this yeah. movie. Yeah. Wow. It just feels like kind of young, inexperienced director realizing, oh my God, no, I'm going to have a naked woman on set and just like, okay, just flop the camera down. Just get this over with. I'm so, <laughs> yes. it's so awkward. I yep. guess we're going to shoot your boobs. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody take a look at uh, uh, Mr. Rodman and Flander? He looks like the third gun brother. James okay. Gunn and the other As long one. as he doesn't look like Eric Siska again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The, you look like right. Mark Joe. Right. right. Yeah. I, just thought my, I just thought my appearance was ghastly, <laughs> which is true. No, I just didn't want all of your relatives to be making the Leprechaun franchise. Dude. <laughs> That's true. I, I think I am probably related to the director of Leprechaun 1. But Ooh. she's like, oh my gosh, Ooh. you're right. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, that's she's me. like, Ooh, give me a kiss on my bosom, and you know that's you know it, it actually mm. spinning blades, which <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It's you know, great. here's the thing though, and this scene especially, but like, there's a couple other kills I felt the same way. Why aren't we showing stuff? Yeah, like budget because it cuts to silhouette. Really, that's got to be unfortunate. Right, because this movie it looks so fucking cheap. Well, the, I think the big budget went went into. I mean, you know, honestly, seeing the guy hanging later is pretty good. But we, I think, the Morty's death with the with the Ooh, the stomach, yeah. the stomach apparatus. Mm-hmm. That's probably the whole budget for the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah and uh, and Leprechaun's makeup, which looks right. great as always, thanks oh, to Gabe Bartolos. Yeah, yeah. Sure. like we're producing something right now <clears throat> and just doing the math for effects. It's incredible how much of your like. Budget. Oh, you want a blowing up head? Add another digit to your fucking budget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which I feel like it, then but... you save some scratch by figuring out another way to kill this leprechaun at the end. Uh, besides dynamiting <laughs> this <laughs> puppet, which is uh, you know no then then you have no movie, Andrew. I'm sorry. Just, <laughs> then I walk. Okay, <laughs> but the problem is it's not. Like the movie is not well enough made that like it establishes any kind of you know, atmosphere or anything whatsoever that makes up for the fact that they don't have money for effects. So mm-hmm. it looks shitty, it's executed shittily, and it doesn't have any gore in it. 
Now I'm like, now I'm just watching a made for TV movie. Which I think that's sure. why they leaned into comedy, you know? Yeah, for sure. Big mistake, because there's <laughs> yeah. no comedy in this either. So she, uh, Cody shows up uh, with flowers, and she's like, oh, my God, that's so pretty. And- oh, my God. <laughs> look, but oh, what is it? She goes, uh, uh, wrong holiday. Oh, my gosh, yes. And then my favorite <laughs> line, she <clears throat> she says, but even if it was, it doesn't matter because I love them. She just, <laughs> I don't know what this little you know, inhale she does at the end, but it's my favorite. And maybe I'm so she's glad they loved actually it. a great actress. Maybe because she knows she's playing a 15 year old and she yeah. knows they're stupid as shit, you know? Dude, I thought that she was for sure some European actor trying to hide some no, accent. She's but no, super she's super Californian. Yeah. Super Californian. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Cody, I could never stay mad at you. <laughs> Cody, I, also... I could never stay mad at you. Oh, yeah. Her angriest face yeah. ever. <laughs> you can't he... see our faces, but they're real scary. <laughs> she falls for the oldest one of the book. She's like, oh, my God, these are beautiful. He's like, not as beautiful as you, babe. She's like, oh, my God. Like, that's it. Like, she just really <laughs> Falls for it. Oh, I love that's, it. That's so gorgeous. Did you bring any chili dogs? <laughs> yeah. then, I mean, we, we could really get down. We oh could my, get down quick. I just went to her IMDb. She's also in Tammy and the T Rex, which is worth a spin. Whoa. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Really? Under Who what role? That? As I feel Wendy. like I. I oh, you remember. know what? She is. She's a very small character in that movie. She. I don't think she gets killed, but I think she's just like a friend of uh, the main. Oh, that that shit. would make sense. Yeah, which was a little That's... bit of uh, Tribune trivia because I guess Denise Richards was also up for this role. Wow, oh, man. better that movie. Step yeah. up, yeah. a big major time. step up. Yes, yes. <laughs> major. I think yeah. Most of the time when you Google this actress, the it's just leprechaun. It's pick, yeah, images. you know when the first result is a screenshot of the movie you're currently watching. It's like yep. okay, that's what they're known. Now for. I'm kind of yeah. now I'm imagining the Wild Things threesome with Matt Dillon, Denise Richards, and the leprechaun. It's the leprechaun replaces Nev Campbell. Yeah, this? exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's sexy, dude. It's yeah. really like a champagne is everywhere. We're having a lot of good time. Yeah, oh you my get God. that thumping morphine. Uh, <laughs> soundtrack going again and it's just like <laughs> leprechaun's hips moving back and forth uh, and then yeah then uh, the leprechaun organizes a, a thing to get Kevin Bacon uh, killed on a boat Yep, mm-hmm. that's right oh, but by yeah, the way she's then... also in previous episode of ours thousand years ago ghost in the machine oh wow yes. and, and I couldn't film. I couldn't recall the character Steve yep. she's in a 1998 episode of 90210 Oh, I'm, oh wow! All right, I'm excited. So we'll is this there. dude? This dude playing Cody. I, I doubt it's the same episode, but he is credited on an episode of 90210 as Streaker Number Two. <laughs> oh. So wow. you know, yeah. forward to that episode. Hopefully, That's awesome. hopefully he's not playing a 15 year old in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hope here. It's so a Leprechaun different episode. Shows, I just checked. Leprechaun shows up and he yes. starts. You know, he tries to kidnap. Uh, uh, our friend here, the lady, uh, he knocks Bridget. out Cody. That's oh, that this is the sneeze, the three sneezes. Mm-hmm. And when uh, Cody does say "Goes on tight," when he's about to say "God bless you," the phone wraps around his mouth. Mm-hmm. Yes, kind of which fun. is well, it's great. It's a it's a phone cord uh, strangulation too, much like in uh, our We Love Movies episode this month on Halloween seventy eight. True, yeah. That's oh little, yeah. Oh plus. yeah. Yeah. This is a way funnier version well, though, because the cord is so fucking long. It's like the like when you had like a, a phone with a cord and old people especially had like just the long like a oh, yeah. twelve uh-huh. foot fucking phone cord. Because you can walk around the house, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, just gabbing yeah. from room to room. Well, you used to. Th- I mean, in Halloween, of course, it's menacing. This, of course, it's just a little joke before Leprechaun. I didn't. Again, this is one of those things where I just don't know this thing's powers. He could just like disintegrate and go back, like transport himself. With a being, sure. Yes, with the his slowest cave dissolve. hideout, whatever. Yeah, this and that's is. a that's a high level spell because even at yeah. like level five, it's only you and a being similar or smaller <laughs> yes, size. Yeah, so, within a range of twenty that's, feet. That's yeah. the yeah. thing is, I need to see him with a cauldron. I need to see him putting in work for this fucking spell. Yeah. I need oh. him to actually like. I I just need to see his journey with it before I just be like, oh yeah, he can do that. Oh no, Cody, I'm being transported away when my fridge is full of RC cola. Still. <laughs> oh, yes. dude, yes. I don't think I've seen that much RC cola in the same place at the same time in my life. <laughs> what a shit ton of bad soda that is. Yeah, yeah. I so he I also didn't know so he has a shillelagh that works like the super dagger from the shadow. Yeah, like, it just goes where I, he wants. Yeah. I, that's a whole other thing. He has a 
floating golden pot. This guy, you know what? I, I want this fi- this leprechaun to fail. He's not like a, a hard scrabbling leprechaun. That's true. He's like an elite leprechaun. I don't like this. This is a rich guy leprechaun. I don't fucking appreciate it. He's just taking girls. It's disgusting. Uh, he, Cody at this point, because he's a, a grifter shit boy, somehow winds up with boy. one of the leprechaun's coins, uh, which becomes so oh, important. Oh, well, it's like there's some sort of big distraction here because like the leprechaun drops a bunch of like pots and pans on this kid, <laughs> yeah. yes. which is great because then it causes Bridget to go, Cody, no. <laughs> Somebody will, like, cook us dinner later. Somebody <laughs> help. I'm running around. <laughs> it's a It's Billy. You've, you've gone Billy. You've gone yes, straight Billy, I, Eric. You went, <laughs> that's fine. Ha, ha, I'm running from the leprechaun. Dude, sometimes, sometimes she kind of sounds like butthead. She yeah. does. Yeah. 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 yeah, This is when the movie starts working for somebody because she starts wearing a collar for the rest of the film. Yeah, sure I bet I wrote down someone is turned on by this. Yep. you know it, mm-hmm. dude. Because he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna take you to the bridal chamber," and I was like, Ooh, "Oh, bridal Uh-oh. chamber." <laughs> yeah. Oh, and so this was fucked up though. So he's like, "Oh yeah, like you know, you're the descendant of." Uh, William O'Day, and that's why you're to marry me. And she's like, oh, well, that's not my last name. And he's like, no, but you got O'Day in your blood. And that's when it hit me. I freaked out for a second watching this movie. That was my Nana's family. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, oh, no. Now the fuck's going to marry you. He yeah. could fuck you, dude. <laughs> Come on. Let's do it. Watch Let's go to seasons. hell tonight, Leprechaun. Watch. You know, at seasons. first, Chelsea said that it wasn't that bad of a rap getting getting. Hitch to Leprechaun because like he has so much I guess because we watch so many horror movies and I'm just like, you know. But, but then he it, wraps her up and he's talking about a litter. Yeah, and, no, then it got weird and okay, yeah. I changed my mind. But, he's also like, I have to change your appearance because yes, you what nice the, oh, It's yeah. so creepy. Weird. They're like, it, He's like, I have to make alterations. And I think yeah. it's actually terrifying that he doesn't elaborate further on what that would entail <laughs> aside from making her face look well, different. But it's also... <sighs> It's something, something so that the children will nurse on her. And this is when, so Leprechaun's like, sorry, baby. I just realized some of my gold is missing. I'll be right back. (laughs) And you want to know when I would kill myself in a movie? It's right here. Because this guy's got magic. I, I, I am not trusting my shithead grifter boyfriend at all. <laughs> I am hanging myself at this dude's oh, treehouse yes. before he comes back. Well, well has has he already, uh, uh, he's done, much like the Mormons, he found a romantic gesture in wrapping her up tightly in his sheet. Yes. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I think yeah, this did. has already happened. I think that's already happened. Please see us in Salt Lake City, November 15th. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> WHNpodcast.com, click on that tour tab. Uh, but so, like, he's like, oh shit, my gold, and he leaves her. Yeah, she gets out, she rips out of this, like, weird, well, yeah, yes, she does puts escape. Her in. But here's the thing the most disgusting part of the movie happens right now because oh, yeah. he starts freaking out about the gold, and then she's like, well, hey, can you undo me? You know, like, I want to get pretty for you, or whatever. And he's like, you know, oh, well, I'll just be right back, or whatever he says. And this is where he leans in and he goes, kiss me i'm irish and she gets her face licked by this creature and And he what falls out of his mouth is supposed to be like drool or whatever uh and boy oh boy if that don't look like fucking semen i don't know what to tell you holy lord he's trying to fucking snowball with her i couldn't believe it (laughs) does he he comes out of his mouth or did we we're we're unclear oh now wait a second wait a second here it is the beginning of short bus, but with the leprechaun instead. Yes. Yeah. He, he's nice. a short fella. Get them yeah. all together. Yeah. Just it's, it's a beautiful <laughs> time. Everybody's I do, wet. I do think this scene where he's talking to her and she's says something about how she wants to go home. And he's like, no, but like, this is your home now. And home is where you'll stay. I honestly think that line delivery is really scary. Warwick yeah. Davis is good. He's good. It's a I got to say here. I got to I got to put this uh, plant this flag now before you get another comment on your subreddit. It is pronounced Warwick. Oh, that's Davis. right, Warwick. Yeah, it is not Warwick. Yes. Oh, I would always for say us Warwick. Yanks, Warwick. It is Warwick. Warwick Davis. I feel like you've yes. told me that so many times. <laughs> I have. Warwick. I have, hon. It War- sounds so like many times. Warwick. 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 You, you don't pronounce that middle W. Ooh. So Warwick. Warwick. Warwick Davis. Yeah. Warwick. Warwick. Just trying to help you guys Warwick. out. Are you guys no. gonna have to get separated now that she mispronounced it? Or is that, is that uh, I think <laughs> one more time. Okay. Yeah, that's one more. Talk. Sure, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so the cops show up at one point outside uh, Jack Columbus's house because the other thing is 
Cody is now, he's got a murder beef on him due sure. to Ian being a uh, face hamburger. And Bridget uh, disappearing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he so left, he's like flowers. Suspected of all that. He left flowers like, I love you. It's to be Cody. So then they're like, oh, oh that's we'll, right. That's right. Let's find this dude. Mm -hmm. kind of a thing. Boy, and I could not believe that this movie also has a scene where some old timer just luckily has this coin book. Mm -hmm. uh, what well, he's got is it, like oh because he, he comes in he's like dude it's it's a leprechaun he's like what are you doing in my leprechaun book and it's like why do you have this leprechaun book like, yes yes I know wrought iron is the only way to kill a leprechaun uh, we all know this and I'm like no, it's not. made I up I, if I'd known I would have returned this book five years ago to the library <laughs> yes. yeah. The I guess this guy's library. apartment. I'm not super surprised. And like, are we surprised an old man has a book about coins? That's true. Not at all. I guess that's true. <laughs> but it's just, it is just hilarious. The, the second movie, it's like, oh, thank God I had this coin book. On uh -huh. <laughs> Which we should say that in the last movie, it was a four leaf clover to destroy a leprechaun. Now it's mm -hmm. wrought iron. We're just changing mm -hmm. things around. Of course. Although right. wrought iron is because uh, the first time I looked at this movie like six years ago, I was like, where'd this fucking wrought iron thing come from? No, that's, that's actually legit lore. That's legit. So I, I bet the leprechaun thing tonight. is too. Yeah. So, yeah. Or any fae. That's the thing is leprechauns really? are fae. Yes. And I guess wrought iron. I've got a lot is... of fae enemies. So this is great. To know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, so wait. But is it part of it that when you when the leprechaun touches it that they explode, or is that is that? Yeah, not... that's how Bridget knew. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. how she knew he's gonna okay. love. Maybe so it needs great. to Chris. Maybe it needs to penetrate him. You know, mm, like get, yeah, like run through. I got. Gotcha. I know because he throws the fire poker through his hand at one point, that does, and he just oh, kind of oh, like shakes yeah. it off and and then just yeah, does it's this little go magic through his trick. Heart or something. Yeah, yeah it's gonna go yeah. through a major oh. organ. I think is what that'd be cool. If that was another way that he could reproduce. Like they all. Like all the little bits become oh, you know, like yeah. in, in like Fantasia yeah. where he yeah, packs yeah. up the broomstick. That happens in Leprechaun Returns 20. Oh my lord. The oh, fact that wonderful. I don't remember that, dude. I've seen it more than once, I feel like. That's a ring endorsement don't remember. for that movie. Yes. Yeah. I'll get to it someday. Oh, no. It's a good one. You, I, I bet you remember whatever Wikipedia article you were reading while you were watching it, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Um, I do like Clompus here is like uh or Morty. I keep calling him Jack Clompus, but uh he's like, I'm telling you, kid, leprechauns don't exist, and immediately gets yes. hit in the face by the leprechaun. <laughs> Some of the timing of the violence like this is kind of funny. It, it is, is, yes. Um, and they sort of oh a bookshelf gets dropped on the leprechaun right here. It's yeah, Morty hilarious. just pushes a bookshelf over and he's like, <laughs> What did I tell you about trusting leprechauns, kid? You can't do it. Oh, that's right, because he's like, I'll give you the coin if you give me bridges. Like, yeah, I'll do it. He's doing the old finger cross deal. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And um, right, yes, of course. This is what he crosses the movie goes his fingers behind his back, which is of course. You know, not binding for curses and spells. A <laughs> this is when yeah. he goes to a bar for about an hour and a half. Like it takes sure a lot. Uh -huh. We are really just taking that, a happy hour here. For that's a where while. I want to go for an hour and a half while watching yeah. this. We go to a Absolutely. bar from the wire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yes, it reminds me of. Uh, did you, does anyone else seen that movie? Uh, Bloody nose, empty pockets. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh my god! It's it's this like this pseudo doc kind of not really about this like deadbeat disgusting bar in vegas and boy it's just like this movie also gets it just right of like you know scenes take place in places like this and you can smell the bad beer uh -huh. you can smell the fucking decades of rotten cigarettes on the wall and in the ceiling tiles and stuff like they go into this place i'm like yep I can and, smell the fucking pond smell already. And, and, and you know for a fact that the you a, a leprechaun could actually walk into this place and nobody would blink. Nobody would be like that wouldn't have an issue It'd be like, "Oh yeah, he's just another person like me, man. He's my brother. Yes, he is a leprechaun <laughs> and yes, he has magic tricks and he's going to try to but eat me or kill me or something." Chris, shit like that, that is exactly what the movie does. We get yes. a whole whole <laughs> a group of of little people dressed up Dude, as leprechauns. They can filter in. It is a parade. Of yes. little people <laughs> and uh it definitely is just like that that sketch in one of well, the I forget what movies. jackass movie yes where they have Wee Man and a bunch of feet like oh, of right. other they stage a bar in. fight and then the paramedics come in and the cops <laughs> and they're also and little people it's... yeah yeah <laughs> In this film, though, we have uh, you know, now a more well known uh, little person character actor Tony Cox Tony Cox yes. giving the most bizarre performance it's I've ever weird. fucking seen. It's I weird. don't know if he, 
I think he's just fucking done with this movie. Yeah. I think the director told him to do some things and he was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll say those lines. He says it with this maniacal look on his face. And then at the end of this whole scene where Leprechaun's drunk and everything, Tony Cox is the last one out of the bar. And I don't understand this line, but he's, he says something like, good job, man. I'm 5,000. And then you see him stop acting halfway through the line. He turns, and he turns and around and off leaves. the set. Yeah, he, he literally just probably got into his car. Like after he might as well take a lavalier bike off and just put it on the table yeah. on the way out. I mean, he's like he's genuinely menacing in these scenes where it's just like, what is he doing? Like uh, in a movie where I'm mostly like, oh god, just let this end. Like Tony Cox actually stops him dead, especially because the last shot, he's just staring at a urinal. And yes. I'm like, yeah. Is he going to use yes. it or what's going on? I think it's supposed here? to be a sight gag of like, how do I use this yeah, at this height? Oh, right. Oh, right. Yes. Uh, there but was, he's like, there were jokes about headed that. over the tank kind of a thing. Like he is eye to piss level. And it's yes. like, I don't know. Actually, <laughs> just in Naked Gun, they had a, uh, I forget which movie, maybe the first one, they had a joke of like a little person at a urinal. I was going to have to uh, stay on my toes, you know? Uh, so, oh, I feel like we're referencing <laughs> stuff. That was going around in the early nineties. It's Got possible. It. Is it just as like, yo, man, want, want me go? Want, want me go? <laughs> <laughs> so uh the leprechaun gets into a drinking contest with Jack Clompus right here. And Clompus is uh he's basically drinking like not booze, mm -hmm. right? Because this yeah, is it's um Coke. What what was it? It's like it's uh it's coke and water. Yeah. As the bartender tells us directly, staring into he's the camera, staring right in into a couple the camera. Of shots. Yeah. It's yeah, very uncomfortable. So, yeah, he's like, we're going to get a little drinking contest going here, and I'm going to cheat because I'm like, you know, the forever con man here. So we get a little bit of nice uh, Warwick Davis shit hammered, which is pretty cool. It's, it's yeah, War, I, Warwick. I know, Warwick. but you know what? For <laughs> fucking 38 years, I've been saying Warwick, and 15 minutes ago, I found out I was wrong. <laughs> so give me a few minutes. <laughs> Uh, He's really coming out of the cave here. Right? <laughs> I think it's weird Climbing. that Leprechaun can get drunk. Yeah, that's weird. It is weird. And that it affects him so strongly. Like, he can't even do his power. Yeah, I, guess I thought he was going to be tricking Clompus. Right, because yeah. you yeah. think, you know, guy born on St. Patrick's Day Irish, obviously he's going to be able to hold it. But I guess they're doing this thing because of body mass index. I don't know. I, sure, I would say yeah. when uh, Bridget is going through, for eternally going through the Leprechaun's a man cave there. He does have a nice little drink cart. I liked it. I, I was like, I was like, it's pretty nice. It was like, I, I yeah, can see it. It's it a little dusting, but I like that he has it. It was a little steampunk for my taste, but it was okay. <laughs> I was like, but he's, I mean, he's getting into it. I think on the weekends, the leprechaun's getting into it a little bit. Probably. Well, you're Definitely. down there for a thousand years, dude. <laughs> yeah, what else do you got to do, man? He's making his Although own. he is still picky because he doesn't like that blended Canadian. That's, That's true. the first That's line right. when he comes out. <laughs> blended Canadian. <laughs> There is, we should not uh, get out of that the bar scene without mentioning that during the drinking contest, uh, mm. all the little people are cheering for the leprechaun and we're referencing the Todd Browning Freaks. film Freaks, mm -hmm. doing a little one of us, little... Gabba Gabba. We're no Gabba Gabbas, no. but just no. No. he's one of us. One of us. It's a little much. I it's just... a little demeaning <laughs> because in Freaks, they're like, they're 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 uh, supposed to be like circus performers. And yeah, it's they're like not a, just little they're people. othered. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're not just people going to a bar. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, just right. trying to live their damn lives. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that's maybe what Tony Cox is a little bit annoyed about. It's like, okay, yeah. I just came here to do this. I know you uh, just had a great idea that I, to reference this awesome yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. but I, that actually. Why don't demeaned. you okay. do the chant from Freaks? Because you, <laughs> exactly. you know you're a come. Yeah, do it. Because you're an actor. You're an actor. Dude, I just had this great idea at lunch. I was thinking about that awesome classic film. Do it. Do it. Hey, uh, Rodman, why don't you come over and do it? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Why don't you come in here and get on your knees and start doing shit? That's oh, what you need body doubles. There should be all little people body doubles. Like I don't know if you guys caught it. There is a Warwick Davis cameo out of makeup. When, oh, he, oh, when yeah. Cody leaves the bathroom, oh, yes, he, yes, he yes, almost yes. runs into a little person. That is Warwick Davis and out of makeup. he says, oh. uh, watch it, nosebleed. Yeah, oh, nosebleed. Yes. Oh, no. oh, okay. I remember the line. Oh, all right. That's Warwick. Warwick. Yeah. War, <laughs> War, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> it's Warwick weird. himself. I didn't recognize him because I'm so used to him in now like his 50s. You know yes, older, yeah. yes, he has such this, baby face here. He's, yes. he, he's like 22. Yeah, or something. he's, he's so young, young in these movies. Wow. Yeah. He's really young in these movies. 
Um, I love him trying to levitate that ashtray and he's so <laughs> fucked up, he just drops it. Yeah, that kind of rules. Well, then, like, he just oh, resorts to breaking a bottle over Morty's head. He's like, yeah, yeah. Well, fuck it. Classic. Like, now, that, now that you're drunk, take us to Bridget. And he doesn't want to do that. So yeah, he breaks a bottle over his head and he sobers up at this coffee shop, which is a funny idea. <laughs> but come on, Leprechaun, we've all been there. Like, you still gotta yeah. get, you still gotta keep, you're still not driving tonight, Leprechaun, all, okay? Like, you can drink all yeah. the coffee you want. Yes. Yep. And have some water first, too. Just Going from whiskey to coffee, that's oh, not going to be good. That no. Some whiplash. Get, yeah. get some food in you, too, like a big, heavy oh, meal. Yeah. You know, nice, you yeah. gonna yeah. be plate. He's going to be spending all night on that pot of gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, this dude needs like a Reuben stat. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Side, I big do. ass side of curly fries. Some bangers and mash, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at the coffee shop, the... Uh, uh, Barista is, of course, Michael McDonald, an unrefined Michael McDonald. Yes. Was this like, is this pre Mad TV or Prob- right, before, right around when yeah, that TV starts? Guessing pre because he's credited as as Michael James McDonald. Ooh, okay. Which is he's you know you see that this is a going to be a uh, talented comedian. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. uh, he's given it his all. He, he was funny on Mad TV. Oh, he's oh great. yeah. I, I, oh. He's also in that Halloween Kills. He's uh, one of my yes. favorite. Yes, oh, yes. I right. Love yeah. Mm. And this wow, is so like, that was not his first uh, foray into horror. Exactly, yeah. He's been killed by Leprechaun and Michael Myers. <laughs> well, that, interesting. <laughs> I was going to say, this is probably my, like, this is maybe the best kill overall yep. just because you see the whole thing. Yes. Yep. If, yeah, I, and it gets nasty. It's yeah, great. it's gross. I love it. Which yeah. is weird to waste your big kill on the saucy barista, but sure, you do you, <laughs> Leprechaun, too. You so do you, saucy. whatever you want to do. He joined Mad TV in 98. Yeah, that's oh, wow. Okay. Later. Fourth uh, season. I mean, I appreciate the the hand, you know, pseudo crucified to the table, you know, and then he's getting like the espresso, like steam at him. But for that, I was like, I don't know, man, just bend over, <laughs> just uh, just like bend your yeah. face away from it. I, yeah. It's a cool kill, but it kind of didn't P- make any pivot sense. Pivot your he neck a little that. bit, maybe. I mean, totally. It's, it's kind of like that death in the, the beginning of Bone Collector. It's very similar. And they dealt with the neck problem in that movie. So you know what? <laughs> Smarter production. Yeah, I'm just going to say. It's definitely a kill you come up with while you're writing this. And you're like, oh, man, that'd be so sick. And then when you actually stage it, you realize, oh, this actually doesn't really matter. Yeah, Michael's <laughs> like, uh, so Rodman, question, why wouldn't I just? Uh, no, just it's we, we have to we have to wrap out. Uh, the answer hour, is so. uh, it's Leprechaun 2. <laughs> I, I do like the idea of like uh, uh, of. Uh, Michael McDonald being like the Ben Affleck on Armageddon to Michael Bay with the Rodman <laughs> Slender and being like, this doesn't really make sense, Rodman. I don't know. I don't know. You, you know what? Just do it. You know what? Just just do it. Okay. Just do it. I mean, I do. Look, that's a very funny Ben Affleck clip. But the more I think about it, the more he was just being a fucking little snotty dick. I'm like, dude, we spent millions. We can't. We're not changing this now because you had the great idea that it doesn't make sense to send oil drillers to space. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. You're welcome for being cast. Fuck well, face. You know, I will Stay still alive. Kept it up. So much of that commentary shit is just propaganda. Oh, for sure. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that he was wasted. <laughs> he was good and drunk. And like, mm. I, I also like the idea of Michael Bay getting stirred up by somebody just because, you know, he's so like easy to like, remember that there was a famous clip of him, like the, um, his cards went down, like during a speech, like he couldn't read the uh, prompter. Oh, really? And like, he just walked off the stage. Oh, no. <laughs> nope. I'm out of here. Later, losers. Well, teleprompter in chief over here, Mr. Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so, meanwhile, Bridget is taking a very long time to go through the leprechaun's cave. I, Dude, I would be fashioning a noose. She's just looking. <laughs> she finds an awl and she's like, oh, this will kill the leprechaun. Dude, this like buried box <laughs> of shit that he has in his house, just the leprechaun's garbage time capsule whatever this thing is yeah. oh my god i found a stabby screwdriver <laughs> <laughs> a a cripplingly terrible line that she has here is she as she finds this thing and she goes uh i'll have a little wedding present for you when you get home <laughs> <laughs> Man, fucking take two rodman no. flender I mean, take two again like i am not like we, I, you know, I don't trust myself with this all against this magic leprechaun. It's like, nah, dude, I'm punching out because I am not having a litter of leprechaun babies. <laughs> no, God. that's not. If that's in the offing, I'm offed. You, you know what is uh, a fact that I o- often forget about this movie? It apparently was theatrically released. Yes. The third leprechaun was straight to video, but this one 
did hit theaters. Oh, no. Which, can you imagine Woof. paying full ticket price <laughs> going to see this movie? No. <laughs> did it make money? Pissed. No. no. <laughs> I, I read. I think I read that it was only in like 250 theaters or something. Oh, okay. So that makes it, more it, sense. It, sure. Yeah, it was impossible to make money, and it didn't. Yeah, like the, <laughs> the last porno theater in Times Square was like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Leprechaun 2 opening Friday. <laughs> Closing Friday four hours later. <laughs> uh, two and a half showings. They uh, So whatever. they uh, We wind up... What is it? How do we get back to the go kart track? Is that cause like <laughs> well? Because they he knows was well, it the go kart? Oh, track? because well, yeah, because Cody when they're trying to think of okay, how do we how do we kidnap the leprechaun? Oh, that's right. And he remembers okay, Rod Iron. He sees some slim jims yes. and <laughs> make that makes he makes him think Rod Iron, and it makes sense because after because you realize okay, he's thinking of luring them with the dog, but at first it's like oh yeah, Cody, no, that's beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> The leprechaun is not allergic to beef jerky, to my knowledge. So it's like like rod iron, rod, roddy, rowdy, roddy piper, beef jerky. Oh shit! Should have figured out a way to get rowdy, roddy piper into this movie. Yes. That would have been the boost like a that Gremlins this needed. too, where we're just we're in we're in the theater with him and the leprechaun, and it just cuts. <laughs> we just break the fourth wall for a second. Yeah, it would be so awesome. I would love that. And that now, would be I don't then- really understand your powers, little man. You've got to explain them. <laughs> <laughs> or we could do like a, a twelve minute fight between Warwick Davis and uh, and yes. Rod Piper, yes. like they live. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, oh like, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Put the sunglasses on. I don't know what sunglasses are. I'm two thousand years old. <laughs> <laughs> then he just keeps throwing them in various dumpsters. Oh. That's where he belongs. We paid for this fucking go kart track, and we are going to use it. So we're back yeah. there, and yeah, they're emptying the safe, and you know, Uncle Morty is you know being Uncle Morty's trying to steal the money, and he's like, Uncle Morty, now remember, <laughs> we're being chased by a fucking demonic leprechaun, so let's cool it for a second, you, you, please. You can't, you can't be a cartoon villain. You can't be Scrooge McDuck here. Just yes, please exactly. act like a human for Stop five being seconds. A boo the monkey from Aladdin and take the situation it's seriously. Very a boo the monkey. Yes. There's I don't also, know, man. You're like fucking breaking my balls all night, getting me chased around by this leprechaun. I'm helping you out with this safe clearing plan. Let me keep that wad of ten grand or whatever he finds in the sure. safe. That was yeah. yeah, that was on the little guys. That the floppy hair was fucked up for not letting him have that. <laughs> but still, it, I mean, he gets his just desserts. But yeah. also, this is also on Leprechaun. Leprechaun, you got to know that dog door like dog doors are no good for you. They're yes. traps every time. They're traps because right. there's going to be a dog there, or in this case, an open rot iron this, safe. I actually, I, I think this is kind of fun tricking him yeah. into this safe, and yeah. they close it up. But with dog doors and stuff, did that exist back in the day? Like that was, dog doors, a thousand yeah. years doors? ago. A oh, thousand, a thousand like years ago. Like the year 992. Well, no, it was like, I'm just going to cut a hole in well, the, you know, wait, side wait, of my little house what, I made. What, what are you talking about, Andrew? Didn't you remember the fucking scene from Northman where the dog door, between, <laughs> yes. like, where the kids are being burned in the church and then there's a little dog door where the smoke's coming out? Right, they had to like put a log over that. Yes, right. they, had to, they had to bark it up. Come on, see. You know, they've been around for forever, Eric. I will avenge you, father. I will save you, mother. I will feed you, Fido. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I, like in the beginning when they're crawling around and like howling and barking at each other. They have little dog doors to crawl around. Oh, in. that would be amazing. Yeah. I know Robert Eggers is already doing Nosferatu, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, he should do Leprechaun reboot and like make it about old Celtic yes. myths Ooh, and oh, yeah. really yes. go yes. deep with it. He should go do pe- peyote in a, in a doghouse. <laughs> you know who legit has been fighting to make a Leprechaun movie is Darren Lynn Bowsman, who made Ooh. a lot of the Saw sequels and who did okay. uh, oh, Repo yeah, yeah. the Genetic Opera. He has been just he lobbying so, so hard. Bad. So then Leprechaun it would be movie. just also bad. <laughs> right? is, he gonna, is the leprechaun going to build machines like Irish machines to kill? That's like all Wait, I can. That's what goes into my Irish mind. It's an Irish machine. It makes you drink faster. <laughs> Wait, that's how we get Jigsaw versus Leprechaun. There you go. Oh, yeah. oh my yeah. God. 
Oh, the... leprechaun, you like drinking, do you? Well, <laughs> have all the Guinness in the world. Yeah. See, it'd be surprising to do the leprechaun with Saw because you'd think Saw would be Hellraiser, right? Because mm, toys yeah, yeah. Ooh, and the whole yeah. fucking thing. Torture, yeah. Change. yeah machines. Saw's yeah. not sexy enough to be Hellraiser. No. I guess Saw feels true. pretty sexless. It Saw's does. very sexless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Just cruelty, that. huh? Yes, no one wanted to have sex with me because I had cancer. <laughs> dude, wow. He was a wife guy. He was a wife guy. It also yeah. take I a mean, pig mask off. Maybe wife. we'll fuck you, dude. Yes, he was, he was a wife guy. She's gone. Dude has zero swag. Total fucking loser. <laughs> fuck you, But Jigsaw. yeah, he's making videos with toys all day. No, thank totally. you. No, no. <laughs> yes, exactly. Totally. Right? Yeah. Oh, and my fucked Lord. fucked up Mr. Rogers weirdo. No, yeah, no, you're totally you. right. So There's a reason that guy's not getting laid. The exactly. leprechaun is now caught in a safe, and we think we've got the leprechaun here. And this is when Uncle Morty tricks uh, Cody, which is not very difficult, yes. to get locked in a closet. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cody going to investigate these planks of wood. Come on, yeah, Cody. There's an earlier establishing <laughs> shot. Stop of getting Cody. distracted. He just walks into this closet and like looks at these planks of wood yeah. and then leaves. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck was that shot for? Listen, Five minutes later, he's like, there's some planks of wood in the we're closet. Gonna, we're going to need a ramp to get the safe into the car. There were some two yeah. by fours in the closet. You better go get them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he locks them in there. He's like, no, kid, I'm going to. We're all going to make out well with this situation with the leprechaun. Remember how like, I told you to never trust one? Well, I'm yeah, going to. I'm, I'm yep. about to. Yeah, hold. Yeah. <laughs> Cue 10 minutes straight of Cody just yelling, Morty, no! Morty, <laughs> stop! <laughs> Morty, no! Stop, Morty! Man, and this kid yelling too. This fucking stinks to high heaven with this. But oh, Morty's like, oh. I, you know, it is. I mean, that's the funny thing. Like, I'm not going to ask for a million dollars because I'd probably get it and not be stuffed with it. What I'm going <laughs> to ask for is your enchanted pot of gold, which will certainly fuck me and kill me. And it's like, <laughs> well, then here you go, dude. You're fucked and killed because it's just inside. Yeah, you. so it starts growing into his belly. You see the whole. Yeah, it's pot. like uh, Alec Baldwin and Cat in the Hat. Yes, it <laughs> is. His gut expanding. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It is, I mean, and I mean, as Seinfeld fans, it was really something to watch this guy die. Yeah. It really was. Yep. It's really great. I mean, he's just yelling, get it out of me. <laughs> get it out of me. Well, because what I remember most about Jack Klopp is, is, is him being very annoyed. So, like, yes. when he gets into this tone, I'm like, oh, that's him. He's yeah, doing yeah. it. He's yeah. doing it. What do you want with all those old raincoats? <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I cut my hand breaking a window to get into the garage. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, he's got the, all this gold in his stomach. Get it out, get it out. And he's like, You have to wish me out of the safe. He wishes him out of the safe. And of course, you know, Cody's still screaming. And yeah, I mean, like, it's, I don't, it's unsettling to see like the big full belly with the gold. Yeah. We could have done better at cutting it open because yes. it just looks sure like tissue could've. paper. You know what I mean? Like it was no, no blood. Now no he takes the pot of gold out. It's just clean. It, it looks like you're like opening, like opening up like a tire. Like it's yes. just like, it's just <laughs> rubber. Like I'm just like, okay, I guess. Because the first scene I'm like, oh, that's gross. Like watching that just be in him like a, to- a, a, a live Tom yeah, and Jerry gang. Kind of a- yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got hair on it. It's gross. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it gets ripped out. That dude's dead. Um, Cody gets caught by the security guard at some point. This fucking guy, dude. Yeah. This security uh, guard seems like he should be in a very small part in a Tarantino movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I could see that. It's like, yeah, well, it's a weird. Well, Clumpus um also interacts with him at one point too, yeah. right? And he's well, like, he like, calls him yeah, a yeah. cop. He cuffs him. <laughs> oh no, he he calls him a security guard and the guy's like, that's security officer. Yeah. There is so much ink spilled on the security guard, man. <laughs> like, I guess we need to do something for 15 minutes. We it's it's security guard time. <laughs> but yeah, so this is when we've been at the go-kart ride the whole time. To your point from the last episode, James, he often does have a little vehicle, and we do little vehicles. get a little vehicle <laughs> in this one. It's the best. And this one's the best little vehicle so it far. It is, yes. Yeah, it's, it's got a, like a, a anti-clover <laughs> yes. sign on it. Yep. There, it's that's pretty the only souped nod up. To, it, it, that's the only nod to his weakness of uh, four-leaf clovers. And in the opening scene, you get the only nod to his shoe fetish. Yes. When uh, William's on the ground, he's like, your shoes are filthy. Yeah. And then right. those are never brought up again. Oh, in this I movie. Well, I guess like the, the oh, like he has the like cobbling. Uh, like, yes. Oh, you mean like his fixation with like, 
how yeah, people's no, his, shoes his fucking, actually look. I how see. he jerks yeah. off over shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was missing because you assume on Klompus's like cluttered floor, there's all like half shoes everywhere. <laughs> you assume he's just a paradise for him to pick around and find some shoes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Those might be too dirty for him. Maybe, those, yeah. yeah. That's a it's thing. got a bunch of spikes and he... I, we could have, again, a, a budgetary thing. I could have used, since we spelled, since I know everything about this fucking security guard, know his, yes. mother's, his mother's maiden name is, et cetera. <laughs> I could have watched him get really plowed by this little oh, yeah. cart, but it doesn't really happen. No. Nope. Not at all. Which is, this is, this is where I like had it up to here with the lack of gore. I was yeah. like, yeah. a fucking leprechaun just drove a leprechaun go kart <laughs> over a dude multiple times, and, and I saw none of it. They just do like a crash zoom in on leprechauns. <laughs> Face. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really disappointing. It, it, I know. do like that shot of him though. That like crack <laughs> suit on just on Leprechaun screaming face. Right. As he's driving. It's like a it's Mad fun. Max shot. Yeah. You yeah. Know, I, another point in favor of Leprechaun Returns. Lots of gore in that one. <laughs> Tons Ooh, of gore. Now, now I'm interested a little bit. I do. Yeah. I think at least he should throw like a red turtle shell. <laughs> or like a little ghost should come up and throw some splatter on him. Totally. Um, like at least a like, banana peel. Something like that. Oh, just crap, a... I got the feather again. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing you want. In this scene is my favorite Cody line of this entire movie Ooh. where he yells, I'm going to save Bridget. I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> It's a cave. Yeah, no. It's mostly just a cave. But it's, it's just it's a not cave. Much I know where your bridal chamber is. <laughs> and meanwhile, Bridge is like, man, it's taking a long time for the leprechaun to come back. <laughs> where is my bank husband? Did I just <laughs> inherit this tree? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Robin, is this still a movie? Are we still <laughs> a movie now? Does this tree have a bathroom? <laughs> the whole thing's a bathroom. But she's getting smarter here, right? Like, she's like, I'm going to try seduction. Yeah. Let me yeah. put on that dress. I, I love whenever... Leprechaun actually gets flustered by yeah. a woman. I think it's so funny. And he doesn't know what to do. He's yeah. like the dog that caught the car. Just like, oh, yeah. fuck, she's actually into it. Uh, yeah, because he, uh, he goes back to his tree and he's like looking for her. And I actually, uh, once again, I have it uh, playing silently on the other monitor. <laughs> and I'm just now noticing you can see her just waiting at the top of these stairs uh, for her cue. She's like <laughs> waiting in the far background for a good 15 seconds. Did someone say action? <laughs> Broadman, I, Broadman, can you put up a starting pistol for me? I just so I can start right. Well, the funny thing is, um, at, in the, at the end of the go kart scene, we find out that if he has the, if Cody has the coin, the leprechaun can't kill him, which I think is right. new, right? That's different. That's new. Yep. That, did, yep. that didn't happen in the last one. So that's kind of the ball game here. So like, what's look? Like, I'm never giving this leprechaun the coin yeah. for the rest of yeah, the movie. Correct. Like. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. That's all there is. And you'd think it would come to something at the very end of the movie. It kind of does. does. It yeah. does. It does. Well, I thought there was going to be kind of one last scare at the end. We'll, yeah. Well, well you know what he should do. Oh, oh yeah. That I know what you're talking about, Thank Eric, you. and that's a bit of bullshit. Yeah. He should. He should pull an Aussie and just swallow it, and mm. then Leprechaun oh, right. and get that back. And then well, right. what's he going to do? Yeah. You put it in your body, then the leprechauns somehow maybe there's a chance he's like crawling into your gut, like or well, but he can't <laughs> hurt you well, if you've got the coin. Well, true. Sure. But like, d d but that was just just this movie. Like, he was about to go up Francis Buxton's butt in the first one. <laughs> yeah, see, like, yeah. The yeah, thing. yeah, he was just yeah. about. He was going to gonna go spelunking. That's the thing. It's like I don't. Point. You know what? You're, it, it probably wouldn't come to anything. But I don't want to invite something to my anus unless I want to invite <laughs> sure. something to my anus. You know? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Eric's like, hey, uh, are you on the list? <laughs> All right, get in. <laughs> I just, I feel like this Leprechaun movie is the one where it kind of most clearly lays out a path to if, if not defeating the leprechaun just getting him to leave you alone like you take a piece of his gold so he can't hurt you and then you just keep him drunk forever like you put an <laughs> IV of whiskey in him and like that's it yeah or, you like, know. Or, you, or you keep tricking him like alright dude if you do two more shots I'll definitely give you the coin and he's <laughs> yeah. like alright <laughs> and, and you can't uh, uh, you can't uh, underestimate how just how stupid the leprechaun is because if mm -hmm. I, if I was handling gold coins my entire life the way the leprechaun is I would not be fooled by a chocolate token yes. with yeah. some tin foil around know. it I just wouldn't totally. well listen Chris we had to end the movie Sure, that's yeah, make, um, that makes sense. That I mean, makes basically, sense. she uh, she tries to stab with the all, it just breaks. Obviously, that that was never going to work. And um, 
you know, now we're just running around this cave for a really long time. There's a skeleton fight, which I appreciate. Skeleton you know, fight. Oh, Anytime skeleton. a so skeleton good. shows up in a movie, I'm into it. So and the, the skeleton um, tries so hard. What does he say? He's like, I'm doing my best, master. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my best, master. Uh, you are going to be part of the skeleton league. <laughs> the scenes where Cody and Bridget run down one hallway and then emerge oh. from another it's yeah. funny. They do it twice, and both times, as an editor, I'm noticing the cuts. Because yep. the first time, <laughs> yep. the camera gets jostled a little bit, so <laughs> sure the frame does, rearranges. Dude. And it's, then in the second time, you can see the lighting change. Like, yep. they run into the shadows on the left side. I, it is one of the most basic camera tricks that has literally <laughs> yeah, been yes. used since the <laughs> late trick. 1800s. Yes, right. I forget. Like, George Millier, yeah. just like, what the I fuck? Mean, the God. Marx Brothers wouldn't make this mistake. No, no, yeah. no. But I forget. I, I think Trimark is also also did Wishmaster movies. Yes, because mm. this looks almost identical. Like if you turned off the that's lights and went red, this looks like and a right, Wishmaster. Yes, that's exactly letter. what like, it's inside the jewel. Yes, yes. I, it looks yes. exactly totally. like that. Superior yep. franchise, superior Absolutely. film. Oh man. Well. I don't know. I haven't seen Wishmaster three or four. Oh, guys, don't. No, the three is three, not so good. Three, three sucks shit. Because yeah. you get rid of Dibboff after yeah, the first one. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. am I doing? Kind of yeah. Wait, he's not, in, no. he's not in any of them but the first he's one? He's on three he's or four. No, he's in two. two. Oh, okay. And then it becomes I'll watch two then. I just love him so much. Yes. Two is a lot of fun. Two might be superior to one. Two is really good. Ooh, okay. Okay, we'll have to watch It's like this franchise. But I do... Also, by the way, Trimark Incredible Logo. That golden lion, it's just really cool. Gorgeous. Stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I bet that the camera is getting all jostled around because they built this set and even the floor is like part of it. Yeah. So I bet it's like a raised oh, yeah. set. And it's so so you move and the oh, whole yeah. thing yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. stuff. Chelsea, I thought you were going to say that the set was built next to some railroad tracks. And that was just a fucking <laughs> hey, that's also a great deal. got a great deal. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. They filmed this at the Angelica Film Center. <laughs> oh, man. A terrible place to see a movie. Little New York here. ref. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to work. Did anybody notice the music when Cody yep. gets down into the tree? It is this triumphant fucking like electric Dude. guitar riff straight out of the end of every Bill it's, and Ted movie. It's kind of a absolutely. Fake, it's a fake U2 song kind of. Maybe that's yes. what we're doing because it yeah, sounds yeah. very oh, like. It, it okay. sounds like you went on yeah. Epidemic Song Library and you typed in <laughs> hopeful and building and yeah. it, like gave you this. And then we you know we didn't talk about the scene earlier when Cody is laying in bed and he's watching an old movie. Oh, right. And he sees yes. Bridget appear on it. But throughout that whole scene, it's just like four bars of music <laughs> looped it, over and over again. It never again. finds a song. It's so infuriating. Yeah. It's like you're waiting for the song to do something it's and just, it doesn't. And it goes for so long. It's just the opening of The Streets Have No Name for like four minutes. <laughs> it's just over and over, like the little chugging guitar thing. Over but James, who, who among us hasn't been uh, swindled out of a girlfriend by a go-kart assistant manager? You know what I mean? Like those fucking guys. Happens they get day. all the luck. They get all the gals. <laughs> all the luck of the Irish. It's a weird you know, I mean, because this movie, yes, of course, filled with magic. The leprechauns using all these powers, whatever. But like, that's the character where magic stuff happens, right? Like, because this whole thing is like he imagines not only Bridget but Ian, yeah. and they're yeah. like making out in this old movie, and then like he snaps out of it. Like the TV turns off, so you're like, oh, was it even on? And I was no, like, no, no, no. no. He not says he's like Bridget, and they turn to oh, look that's right. At oh, they him. yes, they, they, which yes, is another element. Like, it's another layer of what the fuck is going yep. on here. No, not for this movie. Not yeah. for this movie whatsoever. Uh, I think every scene like that was just to get it to 84 minutes <laughs> totally. so that they, yep. they could uh, but so now fulfill the contract. We've we've run around the leprechaun's little hideout house uh, enough, <laughs> and finally, the leprechaun makes his big move, which is he uh, impersonates Bridget, which we now we know he can do. Oh, and yeah. she's like, give me the coin and leave us alone. I I know it. Yeah. Just give him that coin. We'll get out of here. <laughs> we'll go to the mall and we can get an orange Julian. Orange. <laughs> Hot dog on stack. <laughs> they do make I'm out a little starving. bit. They do. Oh, yeah, they do. He makes yeah. out with that leprechaun. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, it's like an it when John Ritter makes out with uh, yeah. Pennywise and kiss me fat boy. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah. Definitely would rather kiss Pennywise than the Leprechaun. For sure. it's Tim oh, Curry. it's Tim so, yeah. Curry. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, yes. uh, give me in there. Yeah, at least there'd be some <laughs> class to that makeout session. What? And then worst what? case scenario, he he pops on those deadlights. I forget everything, and my hair goes white. Who knows? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's fine. I bet hey. War Rick 
Warwick. Warwick, yes. Warwick yes. is. I bet he's got some. You know, I bet his tongue can do a little few tricks. Oh. I don't want to say. Yeah. yeah. Him, I mean, yeah, if you're picking between him and Tim Curry, that's not so Yeah, bad. I almost no. said I didn't want to sell him short, but that's bad to say. <laughs> right. That's a Michael McDonald joke. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Boom, gotcha. <laughs> but no, but he. this is what he outsmarts the leprechaun because sure does. he gives him the hard. coin and then, <laughs> you know, leprechaun kills Cody. You're like, oh, no, Cody's dead. <laughs> oh, Cody. Oh. 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 Such a rich character. Oh. Come back, floppy hair. <laughs> oh yeah, Leprechaun's bald too. Oh yeah, we find that this, out one. this one. Yes, I don't his think hat, he is in the first one. His hat comes off, and he's got like kind mm-hmm. of a Hulk Hogan skull going on. Oh Definitely. yeah, it's very uh, Hogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you make, you got to give me three wishes, brother. <laughs> oh no, it's a wrought iron chair. <laughs> My wishes for you are to take your vitamins and say your prayers. <laughs> Praise America. I'm gonna kill you and Gawker. <laughs> his hair kind of looks like um and he, uh are you guys bob's burgers fans at all oh, yeah i've the, seen some. i've seen the little like monkey mask that gene wears sometimes <laughs> on the show or it's it's literally the same haircut <laughs> just like red hair where it's like bald skullet kind of a thing i love yeah it. the hair looks like it should be attached to the hat <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yep. yeah yeah it. yeah like you would uh, buy that whole thing at like a fucking surf shop as a shitty souvenir somewhere. But yeah. as we've been saying, he gets fooled by a chocolate fucking coin. <laughs> Deus Ex Tony Cox. We didn't see that coming. Yep. Um, Come and, on, man. Take me gold. <laughs> <laughs> and he just uh, this is when Cody just impales him with the uh, the the iron, the iron pole. And yes, he's going to blow is so good like she has that line which is so hilarious and poorly delivered and cody not that much better in the delivery department says to this leprechaun real milk chocolate genius yeah well well, yeah good on you but i'm about to explode so i'm not really paying attention to this right now i'm about to explode What's the disgusting shit boys line at the end of uh, the first one? The the famous uh, oh something oh I forget what it lucky is. Lucky charms. Uh, yeah, lucky no, charms. fuck you, lucky charms. Yeah, fuck yeah. you, lucky charms. Yeah. yeah. Um and yeah, I mentioned it already, but this fucking leprechaun dummy just exploding. It's pretty the good. The head rips so off. Good. Yeah. I mean, oh, if, yeah, if you had to blow like all your budget, I mean, yeah, it's something. At least it's something, you know. It's not the first or it's not the last time that Leprechaun will blow up. I like that. You see it many times. <laughs> is that how you get him? Yeah, because yeah. they blew up that well in the yes, first one. That's right. how he does. Uh, he blows up here. You know what? I think he blows up in the next two of them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is cheap. You which can't one's think the of next other one? Ways? Is it Vegas? Next one's yeah. Vegas, which is maybe it's the best so one, guys. Fun. It's Ooh, probably yeah. the best one. I thought that yeah. Vegas was this one, and I was a little disappointed. So we might yeah. we'll definitely be, we'll be talking about Vegas. Again. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> when this actually ended on Peacock, it oddly, so this was interesting. Mm-hmm. The autoplay went to the fourth yep, one. Yep, me too. In space. <laughs> in space. And, uh, okay. but, but why, you know, I don't know. Just queue up the fucking next one. Yeah, they have yeah. them all. It's a meditative Well, that's what failure. I thought for a second. I was like, oh, is Leprechaun 3 not on here? Then I went back to the search, and it was right there, and I played the trailer, and I have to tell you, the fucking mayhem that this little fellow's causing at those casinos looks pretty righteous. <laughs> it's great. I might have it's to watch so that much. It has probably the best kill well, in the franchise. Which one are you talking about? The sex robot? Oh, no, Caroline no, Williams. No, Caroline Williams. Blown up. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's another yes. thing in common with Wishmaster. He fucking ripped up a casino as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Ooh. He's good at it. Uh, Hell we yeah. should say the end of this movie is she's like, are you going to keep that gold coin? And he's like, nah, <laughs> not worth it. And they walk for two and a half steps and the movie cuts. It's, <laughs> well, like, yeah. that thing, yes. it's like that thing in Kill Bill where like you get the, the five point Death Star and then like de- death wa- you have three steps and then you're dead. It's like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. one, yeah. two, three, cut I, to black. I rewound it like four times. So it's like I missed something, <laughs> yep. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's yep. like the Sopranos. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he, he throws the coin back. There's a shot of the coin hitting the ground, like where the tree shit was. Yeah. In mm-hmm. some like not packed down dirt, right. by the way. I mm-hmm. thought it was going to be like, you know, his hand's going to jump up or there's going to be some. Or the coin th- gets pulled down. Or maybe you hear some Irish music and it's like, ha ha ha, you know? Or yep. even a competent, like we're just walking in relieved of the, the danger we just escaped for 
like a, a full beat, not a half a beat, but a full beat. Well, also fake happy ending regardless, dude, because this guy is still wanted for murder. And <laughs> good luck right. fucking right. proving oh, yeah. that yeah. a leprechaun did it, dude, because you just blew him up. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to get on a plane somewhere. I would say Brazil <laughs> at the time is probably where you want to lay low the best. Uh, also, also, this kid's a full on orphan again because Uncle Morty's dead. That's that's true. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. He's back Uncle in the Morty system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uncle Morty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, that's also true. This is this is L.A., not uh, Texas. So he might be OK. He might go to juvenile hall as opposed to the, the electric chair, possibly. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Also, that's when sweet. she's like. Uh, she goes, uh, Cody, how did you know that it wasn't me and the leprechaun instead? And he goes, uh, he kisses differently than you do. Oh, yeah. The leprechaun yeah. is making out with this kid. Yeah, that's awesome. pretty Does saucy he say stuff. Differently, he's not like, yes. oh, because you kiss better, <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, this guy, he kisses different. He's got like two thousand years of experience. You know, maybe <laughs> yeah. he wasn't laying dude. pipe, but maybe he got to a few bases. And man, that guy could twirl that tongue. So yeah, the tongue was just as slimy as yours, honey, but his mouth movement was different. <laughs> the same difference. Cody realized, you know, he's got he's got some other stuff to figure out too. Yeah. That's great. Totally That's awesome. good, yeah. for good for Cody. This, yeah. this leprechaun adventure made me realize some things about myself. You know, well, I think I'm bisexual, but it's only for leprechauns. So that's, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's ladies and leprechauns. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Lepre- believe they were laying into us people with leprechaun fetishes. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> so no pay- one's safe. I'm paying a sex worker to say that she was a leprechaun previously. <laughs> or actually, she is a leprechaun's apparition. Exactly. Yeah. Like, oh, that's yeah. the only way I can shoot, dude. It's just it's, you have to like I have to know that you are a leprechaun inside of that lady. She I, got confused by the Craigslist post. She's just a leper. She's just got leprosy. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Oh, you misunderstood. But you are going to have to have a shillelagh, or I won't be able to <laughs> won't be able to get there. I'm sorry. It's kind of funny, too, uh, because the last line of this movie is an answer to her question. Cody's answering a question from Bridget, but could also be um, used in response to if someone asks you, hey, should I watch Leprechaun 2? You'd say, trust me, it's not worth it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and with that, that is the final yes. uh, moment of the film. We will go to our esteemed friends and guests today. Thoughts, final <laughs> thoughts, recommendations, James and Chelsea. Uh, yeah, Leprechaun 2, have at it. I think, I I don't think I would sit and watch this by myself, but mm-hmm. I loved watching it with James. <laughs> like, watch it with people, and it's a totally different movie, I Right. Yeah, I had half a gummy and sat down and watched <laughs> this, and it was a great time, honestly. Uh, at this point, I've seen these movies so many times that I can just really keep an eye out and an ear out for, like, the littlest lines and everything. So, like, I really appreciated Sandy Barron's performance in, yeah. this time through, right. just how mm-hmm. committed he is. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, now that I have finally turned my opinion on Leprechaun 2, because this was the holdout that I hated for so long, I have to say that after the first Leprechaun, I fucking love this franchise. I think <laughs> wow. all, yeah, that, that's I think awesome. I think it is exactly what you want when you want a movie that's so bad it's good because it, it's relentlessly bad throughout the whole runtime. It never slips into like this boring, mundane badness. Yeah, it's it is, never boring bad. Yeah, and it's yeah. short. And so, you know, there's always something to look at and laugh at. Right. I don't know. That's there you go. Eric Siska. I saw this by myself, which was, oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, what a grueling experience. I, I, it, somehow time slowed down a little bit, and those 86 <laughs> minutes felt a little longer. I, I agree that, that Sandy is bringing it, and that's about it. Uh, I mean, I guess Warwick. Warwick, yeah. There you go. Was uh, pretty solid as well. I always like him in a picture. Um, it's not really a recommend for me, though, because... Uh, there's just too many hurdles to overcome here, in my opinion. Chris Cabin, absolutely not. This is terrible. <laughs> uh, the, 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 you know, I, 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 I thought I hadn't seen this before, but then I remembered the gold belly scene. Yes, and okay. all of a sudden it came flooding back when Clamp when Clumpus gets uh, ripped open, and I was just like. Oh, this is all that is left. It's still all that I remember from this thing <laughs> is Jack Clumpus getting ripped up. Um, yeah, not my cup of tea. Uh, and, and generally, like, yeah, work is great. I, I, I'm, I'm happy he's doing his thing, but like, 
yeah, I couldn't take this. And the my God, well, I guess maybe to see this actress doing what she's doing. Because <laughs> yeah. it is, it's difficult to understand how is bad it is. Is it a it seeing is. is belief? A little bit, because it is real. It is. My wife was, she doesn't usually watch these with me, and she was watching it with me last night, and she could not get over this. Every time she opened her mouth, my wife was cackling. That's like, the just, thing. Well, like her, her going face looks like, so. like she's constantly yeah. smelling shit. Like her, yes. her yes. like she's yeah. always yeah. snarling. Yeah. It's, it's so it's weird. Stink and that's the thing. Yeah. She's yeah. taking the heat off of this lead guy who's also yeah. terrible. Yeah. She is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. True. Very true. As uh, Steve say that. It's the lightest of recommends for me. It's just <laughs> like if it's like <laughs> if out of a if you know if if, if it's a fifty it's like fifty one percent recommend. Uh, it's. Because it is it is short, like you're talking like 80 minutes of content tops. Um, mm-hmm. The kills are pretty steady. To your to James's and Chelsea's point, the the first one is really slow and it's trying to actually build tension, and that's actually worse because when a movie can't do that, you're just like left with darkness and nothing, and you know what I mean. Like, so absent of all that, knowing what it is, it it does know what it's doing. It's not too winky that it's annoying or cloying so it's just where i kind of want it to be it's the lightest of recommends that's where i'm at yeah it's a light recommend for me too i would say the the improvement here on the first film is that that first movie is really just more or less like the single location yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And that gets like pretty boring. Yes, we do spend a lot of time at the go kart track here, but you know, we're moving and shaking. You know, we're sure. in different places here, the leprechauns, you know, in different environs and whatever. So that was kind of interesting. Warwick, yeah, you know, he's doing his thing and it's great. He totally has a handle on this character right from the first movie. So it's just kind of more of that. But my big thing is like, if I'm watching goofy shit like this, I need goofy shit with gore because I'm not yeah. laughing at any of this. I'd find none of this funny. So I need to see some violence. <laughs> Otherwise I'm not particularly entertained because I'm just watching what is in my opinion, bad one liners left and right. Yeah. So I don't know. That's where I'm at, but I will say this and you know, James, you will be pleased to hear this. I am. I was tickled by that part three trailer and I'm going to check it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. As we record this, it is in early October. Um, this is, you know, of course, airing towards the end of October. Maybe by the time this airs, I've seen at least one more Leprechaun movie before the spooky season uh, uh, wraps up. Speaking of spooky season, of course, you all—it's your busiest time of year. Oh um, yeah. What do you got going on? Plug away. Anything you got coming up or what? Well, as you? usual, you know, steady release of kill counts and podcast episodes on the channel Dead Meat. But this year, we're also doing an after show for Chucky season two. That's uh, right. Oh, awesome. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. We Each- just had an episode. We uh, recorded uh, an episode with Don Mancini, which Whoa, was a lot of nice. fun. That's cool. And I then tomorrow morning at seven a.m. Seven a.m. We are recording with the the younger cast of like the new characters to the the series oh cool uh and yeah so each week we'll be talking to different cast and crew members and then that episode will go live on our channel right after the east coast airing concludes so that's every wednesday evening uh our video will go out they're like going to be half hour interviews talking about the episode we're really excited about it that's the rules cool yeah cool cool shit uh and so for us here of course you know we would just like to say you guys are awesome you do great work keep doing it Yes, and yes. come back anytime. Open invite yeah. here on We Hate Movies. Well, thank you. Yes, you're, thank you. You're our, our favorite podcast. And Woo! we uh, to prep for this, we listened to, we watched specifically just to listen to your episode, Nothing But Trouble. Oh, which, nice. uh, yeah. can't, I don't know if that was worth it. Really sure. enjoyed your episode, but you we go. also, you know, sat through that movie. Yeah, it wasn't then, worth it. I'll tell you right now. And then we just uh, listened to Cat in the Hat because we did our own commentary track on it. After, after <laughs> oh, I, oh my I, gosh, I go, you guys will love You guys this. are finally James? doing horror movies, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. James, I covered, in a kill count. Yeah, I covered Wolfman 2010, which uh-huh. is not a great movie. But no. people were trying to make it. And the president of Universal at the time that movie came out said, this is the worst movie th- the studio has ever made. Which, one, wow. kind of a dick thing to yeah. say about yeah. a movie that people made. Yes. But two, in my kill count, I'm like, I don't know, man. This is the studio that gave us Cat in the Hat. <laughs> All these the fucking children oh, no. commenting. Oh, no. You would have thought he 
I, I don't even know. That it I insulted was Pulp Fiction or something. <laughs> like, people were like, what are you talking about? Cat in the Hat is great. They called it goaded. They said that it was a masterful comment. <laughs> yeah, Cat in comment. the Hat's poggers, Oh, my dude. God. So, just still- to make sure that we weren't wrong, we watched it and did a commentary <laughs> track, and we weren't wrong. That movie is fucking garbage. It's such trash. It, it is, is the worst performance from a comedian I've ever seen. I, I, I gotta, I've got to assume that comment section has to be one of the famous YouTube codes for human trafficking. I, there's no way <laughs> yep. that somebody enjoyed Cat in the Hat that, that much. No, no, no. <laughs> it had to have been people who saw it when they were six when or seven years kids. old and, and they just haven't watched it that's since. That's disturbing. It's, it's awful. And I guess they've it been, is. you know, eating lead paint and shit since then. Yeah, and- <laughs> yeah talking about like different names of furniture. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but your podcast episode covering it made it worth it. Made Excellent. it worth the watch. It was oh. great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Now people oh, know yeah. where to find a commentary track if they want to relive that experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, and of course, that brings the 2022 Halloween Spooktacular to an Which end here on We Hate Movies. I got something to say. In two oh, days for it, dude. from now, days. when this comes What's out. Happening? Yeah. You can see us in Toronto. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Is that, can I say I, that? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Do it. WHMpodcast.com slash tour. See us in Toronto in two days doing Saw 4 at the Royal Theater. <gasps> November 14th, we'll be in Denver, Colorado talking war games. November 15th, Salt Lake City, Utah, Fatal Attraction. And November 17th in Phoenix, Arizona, Universal Soldier. Tickets are available and going quick. Yeah. And Saw 4, of course, I do believe is where we see the reveal of uh, a Jigsaw as the wife guy is when you finally figure it all out. Uh, It's also when he's confirmed killed in the beginning. Mm -hmm. They like Uh cut his body open and then he's in the next three movies. (laughs) (laughs) It's magic time. Just like Leprechaun, he can explode. Oh, this was a, this was a different Tobin Bell. (laughs) See, that one was a thousand years old and he had cancer. This one was 200 years old and he had cancer. Just, Just barely made it past. So that's right. If you were listening to this on the day of the release, uh, the spooktacular continues in two days in the beautiful city of Toronto. But if you want more spooktacular content, head over to patreon.com slash we hate movies, where this month we released a uh, we love movies episode all about Halloween 78. That was a fun one. Uh, we got a spooktacular episode of Ah uh, Real Monsters that dropped. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, the, there's an, a Lifetime movie called The Sitter. Yep. Uh, once in a Lifetime. It's a spooky Lifetime movie. There's blood in it. It's, it's more, more blood than this movie. It's yes. more blood than Way this movie. more violent than this movie. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so check all that content out and more. Patreon.com slash We Hate Movies. And Steve, the program continues next week. We're going from one month into another one, baby. What's going on? Oh, it is a sharp left turn. Because uh, we're doing We Love Movies Month in November and we're doing North by Northwest. <laughs> just a little different. Just a, a touch. Bit. Strange. Yeah, a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Just a scotch different. No, Leprechaun, they didn't get Oh my me gosh, a Leprechaun getting chased by that plane. <laughs> North by North Lap. Yeah. 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 I'd watch it. Yeah, no, he'd be flying the plane because he loves his vehicle. He does. That's oh, true. that's true. Yes. Yeah. Is that a leprechaun on that plane? <laughs> My God, mother. Uh, so until next week with Lep by Northwest, I'm Andrew Jupin. <laughs> Steven Sadak. Eric Siska. Chris Cabin. Games Agent Eats. Chelsea Rebecca. Take it easy. We all go a little mad sometimes. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare. Huh? Sometimes. That is what I... Time to keep your appointment with the Wicker Man. They're coming to get you, Barbara. He's sick for fuck's sake. seen one too many movies. Now, Sid, don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. What's the fucking illusion in the bag? What an excellent day for an exorcism. That was a HeadGum Podcast.